This podcast is a part of the Podmania Podcasting Network. Check out podmania.co.uk to check out more of our great podcasts, features, reviews, match ratings and previews spanning the crazy and diverse world of professional wrestling. You're listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast, a sample of the best pro wrestling podcasts we can produce on our tiny budget. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, CastBox, and all other podcast platforms. If it's wrestling you want, check out more of our great content at podmania.co.uk. Let's do this. I'm your host, Rob Goodwin, and I am joined this week by Chris Howard. Chris, how are you? How are you? Um, how art thou? Anyway, um, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm sure this podcast is going to be more explosive than that fucking death match was. That is true. That is true. You've instantly <laughs> dated this podcast because we don't know yeah. when this is coming out. Yeah, coming out. Um, you, you've not seen the whole show, but I'm sure you've seen. You've been online, so you've seen like the video, right, of what happened at the end of that match. I have, and it's such a shame because the visual <laughs> that they have in ring as it's counting down is perfect. What, Eddie Kings. Yeah, no, that's the thing. It's ruined by a bad explosion, and I'm sorry. Double check the fucking explosives. <laughs> If you're running a fucking bat, because like those, like there was good stuff in that match, but you know, part of the name of the match didn't work properly. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. Like, have you seen the edit where someone's put the theme from Titanic over it? I have. Yes, it is it's tremendous. Absolutely like, tremendous. Honestly, like honestly, I if that moment happened in a match where the explosives had worked. It might have been. Re- it might have literally been match of the year because that, what an image! It's uh... what an. It's just a proof that Eddie Kingston is the fucking savior of AEW. It did make me laugh that someone posted on Twitter that Cody, his pyro was more explosive than the actual than the match. Yeah, yeah. there was more. There was more. Yeah, there was more explosive pyro for Kenny Omega. <laughs> fucking because because yeah, believe me the entrances for that match i i hadn't seen any of the um explosives before the actual match so <laughs> like when john moxley's making his entrance and he's like sipping out of like a hip flask to get courage it's, it was like all fucking set up so perfectly and then it just i'm actually really sad because i i've been joking about death matches for all year they built it up so oh, much and yeah for and them to cause... go out with such a wet whimper and it'd be the closing Cause... shot of the show as well because i know that like i know that like there's like deathmatch promotions like freedoms and big japan although that's more half and half from what i understand but i don't want like a deathmatch division i want a deathmatch like this where it's a feud that's been going on since the start of the company mm-hmm. that's where i want a deathmatch and then when that happens, it doesn't work properly. <laughs> no, because from what Just I understand, the, the rest of the match was great. Well, the best match was fine. So it dragged a bit, but, you know, that's kind of just what Kenny Omega does. <laughs> like, I don't like that we didn't... I understand that we did, couldn't cover everything during the entrances because of... Well, otherwise, how would we get in the ring? But surely we could have made, like, a sheet of barbed wire or, like, quickly wrapped some barbed wire around... So it's all four sides. Mm. Not all four sides have to explode, but like having one side where you can escape, it kind of feels like it. And it's it's hard to pull off, like exploding barbed wire death matches because you it needs to be like far enough away from the wind to ring to not hurt people, but close enough to make it look like it does. There's a fine line, and the explosions have to be moderately big. Yeah, no, the explosions weren't big. <laughs> no, they weren't. It was. It was. It was yeah. Like, Kane's entrance was more explosive than the end of this. I've been scene. to a village fate firework display and been more scared for my life. I've been to an actual I've seen an actual death match live, but it was more violent than this. I was in the front row, it's fucking scary. Glass almost hit me. <laughs> I was in the front row. Glass almost <laughs> hit me. It did. 
And then Chris Renfrew got thrown at me, and I'm like, and the barrier smashed into my leg. That was the most painful part. <laughs> but you had to pretend like, oh, come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm there, like, internally crying inside. <laughs> yeah. it was, to be fair, I, I, I embarrassed myself when I went to that show. Um, cause, um, you know me, Rob, I'm, I don't look up a lot. And so I was looking at the merch and I was like, oh, how much is this? And guy was like, I don't know. I was like, how do you know? I look up, it's Kenny Williams. And then just Moose is next to him pissing himself. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I can just imagine you fangirling, like just going up and it'd be like Kenny Williams. And then you get that little Instagram filter, the pink Instagram filter with all the hearts and you're going, <laughs> Ken, I, I, Kenny Williams is someone I wear on like the chant more than I actually like his wrestling. Same for Ty Dillinger, Bobby Roode, Moose. anyone at Ryback. And I think on that note, I think that's the perfect transition into what we're going to do today. So as you know, we are without Garth. And when we are without Garth, we do a random pay-per-view rather than just random matches. Because um, we don't have children and I don't have responsibilities. That's literally the reason. That is literally the justification for this segment on this podcast. Um, once again, we are using the um, random pay-per-view generator on Reddit. If you Google Reddit random pay-per-view generator, um, I'd love, again, to shout them out, but their name is something ridiculous. Uh, with lots of numbers and everything. But if you Google it, it's the first link. Um, and basically, again, it has every WWE, WWE, WCW, ECW, NXT TakeOver, all the Clash of the Champions, all of these things, including um, Roadblock and Beast in the East, all these network specials. So we did the random pay-per-view generator off-air, and it threw up a WWF pay-per-view from 2002. It is no way out 2002 which chris was convinced we'd already done but no that was no mercy i don't think i know a single thing about this pay-per-view chris do you i know it's one of the nwo show up because it's on the thumbnail yeah that's literally it maybe the nwo are there though to be fair you look at half the wwe's pay-per-view posters and some of the people don't oh, turn up and they and they put weird people on the post systems i know it's down to like availability or whatever but like what the fuck our truth ends up on a lot of posters. <laughs> Marketability, mate. So, um, if you want to find No Way Out, then 2002 from February the 17th, 2002. I believe this is the pay per view before WrestleMania 18. So, we'll see. So, if you are all ready, Chris, if you are ready, Let's, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this in three, two, one, play. Oh, generic post grunge. <laughs> generic 90s grunge song. This is my Spotify, mate. Wearing flannel t shirts. Oh, I like that. I like that it's just what, two the... lorries. <laughs> Yeah, no, but they don't even have a Titan Tron. We just park for lorries inside the arena. I fucking love that. I think that looks ace. <laughs> Shit, lads, we've forgotten to. <laughs> we've forgotten we've to no design stage. a set. We've got no stage, lads. No, Milwaukee. Milwaukee, West Con- West Concern. <laughs> Mister. Oh, we're opening with the NWO. It's so weird that they're using, like, actual coat of personality imagery. Like, I'm pretty sure that was North Korea, the, mar- the marching. Mm. Oh, is this... This isn't where they the... hit the rock with a truck, is it? <laughs> if so, I hope it's not that truck, because the arena will fall down. <laughs> Look, Scott Hall is very clearly not mentally there, isn't it? Well... Like, Hogan... Hogan's happy to be back. Nash is like, yeah, bitch, and we're getting paid. And Hall just wants to get backstage so he can, like, have more coke. Well, I'm pretty sure Hall was pretty much gone after WrestleMania because I'm sure he ends up in TNA. He's on TNA's first show in June. Yeah. Apparently, apparently originally, Rock and Austin was going to be... No, Rock, no, Rock and Hogan was going to be Austin and Hogan. 
because Austin was the biggest star, but they couldn't come to an agreement on the finish. Is this intro giving you an headache? Jesus Christ. I know. Jesus. Why did they... I understand the black and white. Why did they cut the frame rate? Because that's not even 24 frames a second. But this is basically a slideshow. Jesus. Like, the wheel looks more... Um, has a higher frame rate, and we're streaming that from your computer. Wow. 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 I saw, I saw flashbacks of that episode of fucking Nitro. Mm. Because I'm sick of this song. Oh, I'm okay. eternally Jesus. sick of this song. Well, the thing is, like, whenever Hogan came out, it was Voodoo Child. But obviously, because I watched it on a Daily Motion video, yeah. and obviously, the um, WWE Network hasn't got the rights for that. Oh, thank Christ for that. It's the beginning of Voodoo Child, the best use of a war pedal ever. Oh yeah, definitely. This is the uh, this is the lethal dose of poison that Vince is going to inject into his company. Or should I say the lethal dose of poison? Everyone can do a Vince impression because you kind of just have to get rid of all treble mm-hmm. in your voice, and then also speak from the back of your throat. Wow! I think it's like everyone Actually, can do no. a macho man. I can't. <laughs> Oh. It's not quite hey y'all, is it though? <laughs> no, we should have had 12 kicks off. New wussies order? That doesn't even make sense. Oh. <laughs> NWL, new wussies order. Oh, insider reference. Oh. Look at Hogan, because it's true. Oh. What? 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 Yeah, that's how reputations work. Yes, 100%. That's that's literally just how reputations work. Just to think, later in the year, he'd be in a Hell in a Cell match with Triple H. (laughs) Cancer. Jesus. He said cancer. It's got whole never not chewing on a toothpick. He is the coolest motherfucker though, isn't he? Between him and Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash, they're both cool in different ways. Like, Scott Hall's going to show you the night of your life, but Kevin Nash is secretly going to be trying to like fuck your mum or something. <laughs> what the fuck is this promo? <laughs> what the fuck is this for real? That's <laughs> <laughs> our feelings. <laughs> they li- See, listen, because the NWO storyline was their WWF invaders. They just had to come back and go. Job complete. Now it's your turn. That would have been so easy. How do you fuck this up? But again, why would you bring back the NWO? Because one of the reasons WCW died is because everyone was sick of the NWO. Part of that, and because they just didn't know how to kill off the fucking thing. That's why. No, they kept killing it off and bringing it back. The NWO 2000 came out oh. like a few months after the NWO fizzled out. At least... Like, I'm not being funny. At least TNA changed the names of their factions. True. Come on, Scott. Do the thing. Do, Do the it. thing, Scott. Oh. Hey. Hey, yo. What the fuck is Scott Hall wearing? Because I understand that's probably a bandana, but it looks like an Asda bag. <laughs> oh, we're not the bad guys. <laughs> and just the bad man. Bunch of marks. Inside a reference. Ah, inside a reference. Inside a reference. Fucking Hulk. Dave Meltzer's creaming himself at home. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I wonder why WWE's NWO failed. I wonder. I think this is with the NWO. It's one of those things where the imagery is cooler than the thing itself.
<laughs> no, Scott, you don't get to drink. It's fu- it's funny because that's later this year he'd fall off the wagon. Oh, I love Scott. <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Have you ever seen his? <laughs> There's a reason we're not letting Hogan speak yet. Because he's racist. It's like we don't let. <laughs> oh, here he is. Kinelli's... Well, let me tell you something. He's over like rubber. Fuck, isn't he? Look how much fucking um, crosses he's wearing. He really wants that forgiveness, doesn't he? Yeah, like free crucifix is surely excessive. Yes, yeah, definitely. One is enough, and like somehow all of them are like garish. Is he crying Why genuinely? Does... Who Hogan? Yeah, I hope so. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, that pirate earring is the worst, isn't it? You do what you want because a brother is free. <laughs> what what's happened to the NWO? <laughs> and this is the first time the original NWO have been together in like what three years? Yeah, like ninety eight at least. Chris, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> All the boys in the back. I, they've got to like interrupt the main event or something, surely. Have you ever seen Adam Blampier's booking video for the NWO? As, I'm saying that, forgetting who I'm talking to. <laughs> The Adam Blompier mark himself. Yeah, of course I've seen it. Yeah, but I, t- I sometimes hear you talk, talk and it's like, damn, you're just really trying to be Adam Blompier. <laughs> 100% my IP, yeah. Yeah, I just I just heard that, like, that of someone who's just been called out hardcore. Oh, no, not at all. I actively, actively own that shit. Got the same hair. Have we, though? Ask random, ask random people for titty pictures. Same person. Ooh. Oh, see, if I ever wanted to make a career in like journalism, the way I talk is basically going to blackball me from. Anything. It's basically going to, it's going to blackball you from Cultaholic because they don't like j- Blampier jokes. It's going to blackball me from Wrestle Talk because that's where we work, and it's going to blackball me from What Culture because that's where the controversy happens. Great. <laughs> Chris, what the yes. fuck was the point in that promo? Um, to humble them for leaving. It's Vince. <laughs> this, this is that the lethal poison. dose of that poison. That segment was poison. Oh, that's Corey. Hi, Corey. Alright, Corey course. gets a shout out. ICP, the insane clown posse representing. Uh, fucking. I, I once met a jig. Uh, they call themselves juggalos, don't they? And yes. I saw one on Facebook and some, someone was like, ICP. I'm like, no, someone has made a joke about ICP and it's like, what, juggalos actually exist? And he, the guy got really offended. He was like, you didn't have to shit talk. It's like, he PM'd <laughs> me. He was like, you didn't have to shit talk. It's like that. I'm like, damn, I, my friend told me how scared they used to be of juggalos because they'd like shout at her. And it's like, is this really what juggalos have become? Jesus. Oh my God, it's too school. It's too cool. Banging it, banging it, banging it, banging it. No, it's Scott with your and Albert. The fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> when the how fuck did t- this happen? Scotty, how many times has Albert been muted in his career? Jesus, what is he wearing on his head? Why? What's the point of a cap? But, like, isn't the whole point of a baseball cap that you don't, like, burn your head? I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Albert. Why is he wearing a yarmulke? <laughs> So that's what that's called. It is one of the best theme songs ever. See, so, see one of my friends, someone in school used to wear one of those, and like people would just call it his gay hat. Christian! <laughs> now, now you're on your own. 
Recently All Elite Christian. Recent, recently All Elite Christian. Oh, it's Lance Storm, if you may be serious for a moment. Team Amer- Team Canada even, not Team America. Team Canada. It's not, even team, it's not Team Canada yet. Is it the Un-Americans? The Un-Americans. Team Canada's not, oh, Team Canada's TNA. Yeah, it's the Un-Americans, isn't it, in uh, WWE. What do we think of Christian's shirt? And why is did it shit? Actually, did people actually used to wear that in the early 2000s? I still do. It offends me that his, nip- that his nipples come through the yeah. mesh. I know. And I, I say that. It's not as bad. Like, at least it's better than Brett, whose like, nipples are just there f- for the world to see, like some Canadian hooah. <laughs> I used to love Sky Too Hearty. To be fair, I used to love playing against him in the WWE games because it was an easy win. And I'd get to hear that theme song. Banging it, banging it, it banging it, banging it. <laughs> like, he was in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. How did he fucking hold on to a job until 2006? Jobbing, mate, innit? Jobbing. Yeah. I Do mean, fair, those trousers that how... Albert's wearing. Good gracious me. Those are, like, the default trousers in, like, WrestleMania X8 on the GameCube. <laughs> is Rikishi gone from the company oh, shit. then at this point? Oh, my God, the Cesaro swing. Rikishi, no, he can't have been. Hang on, let me look this up. Actually, I don't want to look this up because it might give away if he's on this card. No, 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 because at this point he'd have turned on The Rock, wouldn't he? I did it for The Rock. For The Rock. Why, where did he suddenly get that fucking accent? No, that was 2000 and... Oh, that was the end this of... Two... Two... No, No Way Out 2001 was the payoff to that. The three stages of hell. Oh. So he might be gone. I don't know. I think he might be gone because Grandmaster Sex A is definitely gone. Um, he's another one who'll be in TNA. Yeah, he's another one who'll be in TNA come June. You can, that's it. You can really tell you were planning a TNA project to Olympia, Cal. Mm. Still going, mate. Like, Still I've going. Ne- like, I, I've never seen someone with so much knowledge of like early, early TNA. Like, t- like <laughs> weekly pay per view TNA. The weekly pay per view era. Where it's like nobody, like nobody looks on that era fondly. Um, no, no, it, it's certainly not grand. <laughs> it's, it's just totally non-stop. Sometimes with action. Super kick. Pop up a party. Bam! That Chris Jericho match was fucking wank. It wasn't. It was wank. Jericho, like I don't know who thought of putting Jericho, who can barely run against the Young Bucks was a good idea. I mean, to be fair, the perfect tag team sort of dynamic for that would have been MJF and Sammy Guevara, but Sammy Guevara's left the inner circle, hasn't he? Yeah. Or like, you know, just put in Chris, LAX. Chris, hang on. Chris, hang on. Chris. Oh my God, you know what's coming. Here he is. <laughs> oh, boo. Boo, Lance. See, this- this got called a finisher, but did it ever finish a match? I've never seen it finish someone. I'm pretty kill switch. I prefer kill switch as a name. One, two, and three. That was quick. That was quick. I wonder if it's because the NWO promo took up some time. What a pointless fucking promo. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Oh. Something's happening. <laughs> oh, of course this is happening. Are they capable of Oh, it's of a gauntlet. Oh, that would... That makes sense. This is why you listen to the ring announcers. I can't believe the Hardys are still together at this one. Then again, I guess it was the draft that split them up. Remember, like, there was that weird few weeks where Jeff Hardy was heel, wasn't there? And kick some ass! And then he got fired. (laughs) And then Matt Hardy went on... To be fair, it's it's amazing how often Matt Hardy actually reinvents himself. It's like, more than Chris Jericho. Yeah, that's true, like, actually. There's, there's, like, Hardy Boys, um, Han, Matt Hardy, there's Broken, Big Money Matt Hardy, which um, I've been avoiding AW like the plague because this Forbidden Door shit can just fuck off. Mm. Um, but first taste of Big Money Matt, and that was fucking great. <laughs> Big Money Matt's brilliant. Um, Virgin One, which is still... I, I still oh. love the little, like, Matt facts. That's still the like, best thing about that. 
Matt is a big f- fan of high protein banana milkshakes. <laughs> I'm going to search up Matt Facts and see what comes up. Matt Hardy, Virgin. And I swear to God, that's a gimmick where I swear he must have come up with the fucking hand sign before he came up with the gimmick. Yes, definitely. Oh, there's actually a t- there's a website dedicated to chronicling over Matt facts. Oh, that's incredible. Shout out um, the website. It's angelfire.com. There's things like Matt facts, title histories, real names. This is very clear, clearly an early website. This is, I think this is being updated as it went along. Because there's seen as raps. Amazing. Great. Um so on the tenth or uh, um no, actually no, it's the American way round. Actually no, that is the British way. No, it's the American way round. Um so on January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. On October the seventeenth, two thousand two, uh, Matt Hardy has beaten The Undertaker two straight times. Huh. Which he did. On the twenty fourth. Mattitude is practiced in one hundred countries. Matt Hardy's Matt Hardy's bedtime is four AM. <laughs> oh, very like, nice. Fuck, very that was very nice. That was very nice, but I'm gonna fire through these before the Hardys go out. Um Matt Hardy um on um, I don't need to read other days, right? Matt Hardy always got more candy than his brother. <laughs> Matt Hardy has seen all the Friday the thirteenth movies. <laughs> Matt likes English muffins. Matt hates cold weather. Matt scored Two, three. <laughs> Matt scored thirteen thirteen. It's SATs. Matt was the Fear Factor champion. Matt loves guacamole. <gasps> Matt only drinks low-fat chocolate milk. The Dudleys. Bam, 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 bam. I love this thing. Bam. But Frank, what's the first line of this thing? Sorry, completely distracted by Stacey Keebler. <laughs> you really are from the 2000s. <laughs> um, my favourite Stacey Keebler thing is from weirdly a Max, uh, Mick Foley um, stand-up special. Okay. Where it was, he was like um, Stacey Keebler, who she, he, she went out with George Clooney, didn't she? She did. Um, like, she's punching up there. And... Um, got an email from Stacey Keebler and he went through to his um, <laughs> to his living room and was like, honey, I just got an email from Stacey Keebler and she was like, you're still in contact with Stacey Keebler? No. Dudley Boy's theme. Because it's annoyed me for years but I've never looked it up. Lyrics. Yeah, we're coming down here. We're like a family in here, just a little disabled. <laughs> wow. I always, because that's what I've heard. That's what I heard. But I was like, it can't be that. It's actually that. It's like a family in here, just that's a little quite disabled. Quite a cool submission. Putting it down, we lay him out on the table. Who's in the house? The brother's in the house. But to turn it on, <laughs> let me know what it's about. All raps just sound immediately <laughs> lessened when coming through my. My my accent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. To be to be fair, remember that like month where you were too busy for the podcast, so I was just introducing them with Dewey Debris songs. I do remember that. I'm I'm glad <laughs> we're past that. I know. I quite liked my. <laughs> I quite liked my. I quite liked my um fuzzy one. Mostly because Gar uh, Gar pop. God did pop. God did pop. But then again, he's a Jericho Mark, so. Who have we got left to come out in this tag? I don't. And I can't remember we any don't know. of we 2002 we... tag teams. Um, uh, Ray Mysterio's not with the company. That's the thing. I only know 2002 tag scenes after um the brand split. Yeah, because Jerry and Brock Lesnar were in a team for some reason. Edge is Edge in a team with anyone currently? No, because he just split up with Christian. Christian. <gasps> oh my God! It's not Booker T and uh, Goldust, is it? That can't be yet. Oh, Surely Book of Gold. Oh, come on. Devon Dudley and that forehead. 
Yeah, but you know what's weird? Like, out of the three, of like the three like major teams, like Hardys, Edge and Christian, Dudleys. Like, mm-hmm. in each one, apart from the Dudleys, the less popular member is secretly better. Like, Matt's secretly better than Jeff. Mm-hmm. Christian's secretly better than Edge. Oh, debatable. And he's a better wrestler than Edge. Oh, again, debatable. <laughs> I, I agree with the Hardys. Jeff's a massive like, spot monkey. Um, Edge is definitely a better promo than Christian. Edge it definitely has more charisma than Christian, despite the nickname. But like, I think it's a pure worker Christian and a pure athlete Christian's better. And he also has a better spear. Can't fight! Uh, don't. I've, I've watched two... I've watched, like, what, five ECW matches from 2000 and we all had fucking cat fights. I hate it. And it's the way Joey Styles shouts it. It's like he's... The way Joey Styles on, in ECW talks about women, it's like he's never talked to one before. Jesus, that bubble bot. It must fucking wreck your coccyx. <laughs> <coughs> that was fucking smooth. Alita Kanrana, that has just been called. That is not a thing. I think oh, Jeff is jump off something. Does, can Jeff ever take the easiest route to the ground? Good grief. I squarely on his... Oh, my God. I was just going to say, I don't think I've ever seen Devon's finisher. <laughs> does Roll Devon up. have a finish? Devon, Devon does have singles... T- Devon does have singles ca- titles to his name. He's a former TNA television champion. He I mean, is. they put the belt on... They put the belt on him just before his contract ran out, which he wasn't going to re-sign. But you know. 3D! That was an unnecessary... <laughs> That was unnecessary. I would argue, second best tag team finisher ever. Yeah. Best being... Doomsday Device. I mean, like, it's very hard to... Problem with Doomsday Device is one of those ones that have been kind of... Um... <laughs> Has Devon just done the Testify? <laughs> Amazing. Because the draft hasn't happened yet, has it? No. What the hell? Oh, oh I know Billy who this is. Chuck. It's Billy and Chuck. Because they gave that theme to someone else. Oh, oh they gave that theme to Santina Morella. You know what's about like um LGBTQ charities really oh, like no. Billy and Chuck before. And oh, then they God. did it's such a WWE thing, it's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh Jesus. By the way, you've seen the Bar Royal, right? How like how lame is Billy Cunn's kids? They seem very bland, but to be fair, they look just like the small be... child version of the smoking guns. They're literally just trying Two, to be Billy Gunn. Three. Gun. Billy and Chuck fair, eliminate the Hardys. To be fair, they were um brutalized by the Dudley. So at least that makes sense. It keeps it keeps them strong. That is a very nice plot there on Chuck. <gasps> dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Damn. Underrated theme, this. Underrated. You know what? My thing with um, Farouk is I like him, but it's very clear that no one ever wanted to take the Dominator because he never got to hit. Would you want to take the Dominator? Fucking hell. No, I would not. But the, also, I'm not a wrestler. The only move I would want to take less than the Dominator, I think, is Bradshaw's clothesline from hell. What about a Stan Hansen Lariat? Well, yeah, that's true. Or the Burning Hammer. There's quite a few I wouldn't want to take, really. Em- Emerald Flosion, Tiger Driver 91. Fucking hell, that Tiger Driver. Fuck me. <laughs> Have you still not recovered? I really haven't. There's a Kenta Kabashi match in 97 where he kicks, where Kabashi kicks out of it. No, I disagree. Oh, Chopper what do you mean you disagree? What do you mean you disagree? It happened. No, disagree. That can't happen. <laughs> disagree. It, it happened. Biffity. Let's now talk gonna be hot. about Chuck's hair. <laughs> what, it, the plaits? He looks like a blonde Wendy's logo. L- little Chuck on the prairie. Little Chuck on the prairie. <laughs> Chuck's one of those people who, like, is really tall, but his limbs move independently from his body. How is Billy How is now bust Billy... open? <laughs> this is what happens when you're in the ring with Bradshaw for three minutes. Well, Lucy's mouth was pissing blood before he left. There's all Devon. 
maybe they all just have cold sores at best. Oh god. <laughs> That was a smooth net breaker. It was a very smooth net breaker. Well done, Billy. Well done, Billy. You've, you, you've done a wrestling move. You're not I as never shit thought... as people make out. Oh, that, what, that rock promo really just buried oh, Billy Gunn God, for life, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> Thing is, one rock promo would bury someone for life, right? And I remember uh, when like Cena was at like peak... Cena and he kept and like he joked around his opponents too much, which is a fair criticism. But when people went, you'd never see that in the Attitude Era. I'm like, that's exclusively what the fucking Attitude Era was. Have you seen The Rock about Rikishi? Have you seen The Rock? I'm surprised, Jer- like it's pro- it's proof positive of how charismatic Jericho was that he managed to get over that after that Rock promo. You fucking remember that? Oh god, we yeah. did. A- that was ridiculous. <laughs> Billy, Billy Gun, Billy Gun, the one Billy Gun, Billy Gun, the one Billy Gun. Na, 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 na. This is after the one, isn't it? I'm an ass man. Bam, bam. To be fair, if he's an ass man, it makes sense why he'd go for Palumbo because that's Oi. a very tight. That's, that's a very tight one, right there. Dominator. That's not oh, no, Dominator. It's not what the Sorry. Fuck? I thought he was going to go up for the Dominator, and they didn't. I was really disappointed. How would that? How would that? Be, that would be a very hard transition into the Dominator. It wouldn't pop up. To be fair, like it's weird because like Yujiro has a version of a Dominator, and maybe that's why he never gets wins because nobody wants to take it. Maybe. Did he get a win in the G One? I never end up finishing that. Yes. He did. Who beat? Who did he beat? Jeff Cobb. He beat Cobb. He did. What the fuck? How? Fire pinfall. Can't remember off the top of my head. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm I'm glad New Japan's dying. Um it's not dying, but Stardom's outdrawing it. Close line from hell! That's a fucking selling off, that is from Billy. Yeah, that is a fucking sell. To be honest, I think a good clothesline is like will eternally be a good finisher. Because you like you think of some of the best matches in history, they end in clotheslines. So there you go. APA are through to presumably a tag team championship match later. Either that or this was pointless. <laughs> I assume is... there is like a tag team championship match. You've seen the point. This is this is WWE running without competition. That is true. That was quite a fun little gauntlet though. Can't argue about that. That wasn't a bad little gauntlet. That, that's something you normally see in a pre-show. Now, oh, that is a smooth way to get out the fucking ring. Jesus. But I, like, I saw people do that in WWE video games. I didn't think people actually did it. I'd give that two and three quarters. Hello, Rick. I, hello, hello, Frosty Rick. Tips. Me- hello, Frosty Tips, Michael. Back streets, back. All right. All right. <laughs> It's, it, oh, do you think it, the reason Ric Flair always slurs his words is because he's just eternally a little bit drunk? I think it's more to do with the heart attack he had. Oh, you had a heart? When did he have a heart attack? In the ring. When? Oh no! Oh, was that a work? I've said that. Oh, hello, Taker. Fucking hell! Does he have Sarah tattooed on his neck? He does. He does. He fucking does. Never get someone's name tattooed on you. It does. Do you want to hear a funny? Do you want to hear a funny tattoo story? Always. So there was a competition for a, a motorbike. And, like, whoever did the maddest thing on the motorbike. Someone got BMW tattooed on their motorbike. On their... Not on, on their dick. Oh, God. They won the motorbike, but, like, they pinched a nerve or something, and they now have a permanent erection. Oh! I know. Imagine having to go around over time with a fucking stalker. Jesus. <laughs> it's mad to me, but how good Dustin is but how he, he he very rarely got put in the position to be great 
I think to that's be why there's fair, not a lot. Chris, you look at his gimmick, there's very little that you can do with it. Once you've done the whole androgynous and you've done the whole movie thing, there's very little you can do with the Gold Dust character aside from just, you know, comedy. But the problem is, like, all, attempts, all attempts to move him away from the Gold Dust ta- character failed. Well, yeah, that's because the fucking... Oh, my God, the artist Apart formerly from... known as Goldust was fucking terrible. Yeah, but that's, not, but that's not moving you away from the Goldust gimmick, is it? That's okay, basically just... all right, I raise you, the evangelist preacher. Tell me that was better than Goldust. I completely forgot that happened. <laughs> Hello, Dustin's penis. That's uncomfortably close, close up. And that's, it's uncomfortably tight as well, isn't it? It is. Sees the it wig. is. Sees the... He does see the wig, though. Let's be honest, he's just an icon. Oh yeah, definitely. He's an icon of this generation as well, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, he's an icon of like three different decades. Because like that fucking match with Cody is going to stand as Cody's best match. I would, I would be amazed if anything if, tops it. Yeah, the I thought the MJF match had the potential to, and then it just it didn't quite click for me anyway. Well, I, I like. I really liked it, but it, it was very much leaning a lot on drama, yes. which I don't mind from time to time. It's the only. It was the only real example of it on the card, and I think I'm more forgiving of it because that Moxley Jericho match was god awful. It wasn't god awful. It's just I think their styles sort of clash. Oh, and oh no! I think we were supposed to go over there. What's happening? I, I think. You might be right, though, because Moxley's all about, like, maximalism. He wants to throw as much into a match as possible, and Jericho just kind of needs to survive match by match. He does now. Oh, my God, what is going on here? Rob Van Dam struggled to get out of the ring and then back in again. (laughs) He's fucking high, mate. Oh, that was fucking lovely. I love what... I like RVD's dropkick, despite the fact it's stupid. (laughs) <laughs> like he just does everything differently and I don't know why well I know why because it helps him stand out <laughs> yeah I had so I, I was watching obviously Twitter today and um, talking about oh, um, who was announced as you know the big that's very very nice um, that was lovely. announced as the next AEW signing question People saying that Christian's not Hall of Fame worthy. Fuck off. Are you off. joking me? If Coco Beware pe- is in the Hall of Fame, if Sonny is in the Hall of Fame, if Drew fucking Carey is in the Hall of Fame, Christian deserves to be. And in fair, and actually, do you know what? I think Christian deserves to be in there as a singles wrestler and as a tag team wrestler with Edge and Christian. I know you haven't seen it yet, but um, you know what popped me? They use the TNA team. Hmm. Which Did makes they? me think he must... Yeah, which makes me think he just owns that. There's a possibility he does, to be fair. Yeah, and, and, and like, I remember, pe- I saw people in the crowd looking confused, and it was doing the countdown and everything. I'm like, as soon as it started counting down, I'm like, okay, that's Christian. If you close your eyes, you might... Well, wait, what's... Okay, power rank, Christian's top three themes, go. Oh, don't do this to me. Because he is a man with who's had some stellar. He's themes. had some stellar themes. Um, I'll be honest. I like I'm how a... we're just talking about anyone who isn't Harvey D or Goldust now. Well, you know, it, it's it's a match. It's there. It's all right. Um, I really liked his. Um, is it when you close your eyes? Well, when you close the... your eyes. Yeah, we're pro- probably. That one. Do you it, like do you like the do you like the first version or the second version? I liked the second version better than the first. Yeah, it it pump it like fucks a lot more, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's it's like but to be fair, and this is potentially contrary, that was very good. Fucking hell, guillotine leg drop. That was drop. lovely. Um guillotine. Guillotine. Why did I say guillotine? I've never said guillotine. <laughs> um Revolutionary thoughts that are <laughs> <laughs> Um, I prefer the Mercy Drive, um, the Burning My Burning My Light version of Randy Orton's theme than the Voices in My Head. Uh huh. I prefer like, that why? one. <laughs> why? We were talking about Christian. 
No, I'm just saying, like, I prefer that style of theme. Ah, uh, okay. Um, to be, what I really want is Christian's, like, close your eyes, but it starts with Christian! Because, <laughs> like, the rest of our theme is, like, weirdly generic. It's almost just like, he was like, can I have an orchestra somewhere? And we we're like, ah, fine, Christian! Well, no, you could have it's... it with, like, just the Christian and have the guitar feeding back underneath. Yeah. And then oh, the, no, go! you know. Now that he's in AEW, it's just like, question, question, now you're all elite. <laughs> this match has been all right. It's been fine. It's better than the last RVD match we had, which would have been the Ric Flair one. Yeah, that wasn't great. Which was also from this year, actually. Yeah, to be fair, I don't know why we saw RVD and thought, you know, who he'll work well with. It's Flair. weird to see a pre-evolution Flair, to be fair. Flair to be fair. <laughs> I'm Bobby Enon. Um, by the way, this is a very good colour scheme for gold dust. What, gold? Well, gold and black. I understand <laughs> gold and black is what he's literally always had, but I mean like this Ooh. particular pattern. Oh, Jesus. Thank what do you, Chris. I've now got that is? fucking theme in my head. Um, what one? The uh, when you close your eyes theme. Um, uh, what do I think Goldust's favourite movie is? I think it's something black and white. It is definitely something black and white. He's a gone with the wind. He's a classic. He's a kind gone of with guy. the wind. Yeah, I think that's a great shout. Um, he's into some of the early colour stuff. He seems like someone who'd enjoy a good Carry On movie. <laughs> I'll tell you that. There's no good Carry On movies. To be fair, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Yeah, they're all basically the same joke. There's so many times where someone is like vaguely rude and go, "Ew." Can you believe that Dustin Rhodes has wrestled in five different decades? It's something that immediately strikes you as no way, but then it makes sense. He's done that spot twice now. Come on, Dustin. Did he wrestle in the 80s? Like, yeah. He wrestled in the WWF in the 80s. So that's 80s, 90s, noughties, 10s, 20s. That's fucking lunacy. Yeah. That um, is fucking mental. Is he the best person still going who's wrestled in five different decades? Well, if you think about who there is that has actually wrestled in five decades, that, I reckon he's probably maybe him, Muto, Sting. Yeah. Sting? Does that Sting... I'm trying to think about thing that's counted as a match. You'll I'll, you'll see when you get to it. Uh, I know it's cinematic, Korea. isn't it? Yeah, no, no, he didn't wrestle in WWF, but he did wrestle in All Japan. Who did he wrestle? Dustin Rhodes and Harley Race versus Fuchi and Ka- the Great Kabuki. I love how fucking random All Japan card uh, from Jesus. this time period. Abdullah the Butcher and Jules Deaton versus um, Terry Gordy and Dustin Rhodes. Barbara Kabashi and Kimura versus Dustin Rhodes, Harley Race, and Joel Dill. Yeah, these are just, but it's just so random. I love it. Where else did he wrestle? Um, oh my god, they're just so random. I like that. He's up. There's only one year where he hasn't. He didn't wrestle in 2011. Was he injured? Uh, was this when he was? This wasn't when he was um, sort of suffering a little bit as uh, Black Rain and things like that. Was it? It was that 2007. No, that was 2007. Eight. Yeah. He wrestled in... I'm trying to see if there's anywhere you wouldn't have expected him to have wrestled. Um, Close line. He did wrestle a fair bit in the Keiji Muto era of All Japan. I'll say a fair bit. I can't seem to see it here. I know he wrestled in All Japan. I oh, know he only wrestled there in 2007 for one match. Okay. No, we scrapped a fair bit. It was Great Muta and Tajiri versus Gold Dustin and Hikushi. What the fuck? Wow, that can't mad. In Jesus. the main event, you have... Su- oh, wow. In the main event, you have Suzuki versus Kojima. I'd have that. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd check that out. For the junior title, Kojima versus Suji Koda. But then, for some reason, Muta and Tajiri versus Gold Dustin. Because I think he only went to Gold Dustin. He only went there because... Oh, Rikishi's on this card. Fucking Akibono and um, Toro Owashi versus 
Johnny Dunn, um, and who is a chan apparently also, and Sumo Rikishi, always known as Rikishi. Fatu. Yeah, Junior Fatu. <laughs> Who who jobbed once in TNA and was like no more jobs. Never brother. seen again. Okay, One, we've two. looked at we looked at Goldust's career. Let's have a look at RVD's. What where's he been? RVD cage match. When was RVD's last match? His last match was probably with him Rolling last Thunder. Time. Yeah, it was in September against Sammy Callahan. Korea. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, hey, I forgot you were at an ICW. I was there for those matches. You made a surprise appearance. I think I bring this up every opportunity. You made a surprise appearance at ECW, but his clear condition was his girlfriend had to be on the same card, and the ECW, ICW audience just didn't know how to take it. Yeah. And then he put, then Ooh. in a nice little gesture, in a nice little gesture, he put over Lionheart in a triple threat with him and Zach Gibson. Oh, good. I don't know why. It was originally just RVD versus Lionheart, and for some reason they injected Zach Gibson. I still don't know why. Like, I'm not complaining because we got some fucking excellent Zach Gibson promo. Also, he's a former um, Old Japan wrestler, is RVD. Apparently, everyone's wrestled for fucking I was just going to say, I imagine everyone's wrestled for him. Let's see. Um, Final cut? It was in 93 as well, so this was like golden era, all Japan. Um, he was in a match with... St- <laughs> he partnered with Stan Hansen against Kenta Kabashi and Toki Ashikawada. How? How is this match still going? It is... It is dragging, isn't it? It's like, everything is fine. Everything's good, and the, they are two good wrestlers. This is RVD, you know... Far more in his prime than he is now, obviously, but it's it's still it's still dragging on a little bit more than it needs to, considering it's got very little build. What I don't understand is how RVD was teaming with Steve Williams, Terry Gordy, and Stan Hansen. Like, but those people do not belong together. Yeah, which of these <laughs> like, is not like the other? Like Williams, Gordy, Hansen, sure. But then you still have Rob Van Dam there getting high next to him, going, "Hey, man." You have to old Japan. Frog Splash! You have 10 matches in um, Old Japan in fucking 2001. It's, it's not as good. It's not the good one. It's not the 06 yeah. one. Well, I can't dump it. Because this is just sort of a shit Pantera ripoff. Yeah. Like, it's trying so hard to be um, walk, but just can't do it. What would you give that, Chris? Two and a half. It was average. Yeah. We never actually rated the gauntlet. I gave it. I gave that two and a half as well. To you did give. We. You did give it two and a half. I didn't give one. He wrestled. He wrestled in New Japan in 2011. Sorry. Oh right. That was on the Tokyo Dome where it was TNA versus. Um... And one of my favorite part of these watch longs is falling down the cage match rabbit hole. I know. It's strangely fun. Um, Stone Cold! I can't believe they made a t shirt out of what? Look I can't believe they left my juice on the other side. What is that me. face? <laughs> Proper gormless. Go on, Kevin. You can say bitch. <laughs> I can't believe that beer is cold. No. It doesn't look cold. <laughs> That's a stereotype. I ain't thirsty. <laughs> To be fair, it appears to be Budweiser, which is piss water. It is. Nick, you drink it. That's a waste of beer. You, Bud, what? Say Budweiser. I don't think I don't think you should do beer dirty like that by calling Budweiser beer. 
What a waste. What a waste of alcoholic beverage. Sucker! Sucker! Booker T and Test? How many random tag teams was Booker T in? And honestly, I'm slightly sad they didn't use Test theme. This is a test. This is is a test test. Played that going into every exam in school. No, I didn't. No. So this is the tag team championship match. By the way, did you see Bucker at the Rumble? That was fucking... He's fucking jacked, isn't he? He is massive. Fucking GI bro. GI bro. (laughs) Oh my God. <laughs> have you seen those compilations of Booker on commentary? Because like, and I'm, I'm sure, like, I never watched the show. Well, I did in like 2012. But I don't remember them. If you get me, yeah. but like, um, my thing with <coughs> sorry with Booker T is in isolation. He's hilarious. Oh, it's Taz. It's Taz. Bam. 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 Who is he teaming Bam. with? This is just Roman Reigns. That's Spike. What the it's fuck? Spike. <laughs> what? What is this tag division? Um, what I'm loving is this is basically Roman's team. Bam, 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 it is bam. the sh- It is the shield. <laughs> right, seriously, Chris, what the fuck is this tag division, dude? I mean, we've got oh, Test no. Team and Booker T. We've got Taz and Spike Dudley. Are you right there, bro? Yeah, I t- I, some orange juice went down the wrong pipe. That's what she said? <laughs> um, so I'm looking on Booker T's cage match profile. Of course you fucking are. Um, it's, it's surprisingly, like, not... Like, there's, there's not a lot of... Like, you go on someone, someone it's like, how the fuck did you end up wrestling there? Like, all of these make sense. Like, he went to New Japan with us because he was in WCW and they had a working agreement. He did have a one-on-one match with Shinya Hashimoto, but... I assume he lost. He did. Um, I, I, I don't think Hashimoto was about putting over. No. <laughs> oh, my God, that looked um, fucking messy. Jesus. Anything else? Let's have a look. Um, no. He... Did, he does... Um, Hallam Heat does have a victory over Keiji Muto and Tado Yoshida. Um, and Satoshi Kojima and um, Shinya Hashimoto. So, so unfo- he has wrestled for Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Wait, hold on. He's wrestled. <laughs> never mind, never mind. He's wrestled for the Inoki Genome Federation. Who the fuck did he face? Tajiri. Fuck a he took on Tajiri at the Inoki Genome Federation. <laughs> what the fuck is this company? <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Who who do you want to hear about their career in next, um, Rob? Honestly, no one. Oh, tough to tough to do to get in test. You can I can see a lot of Lance Archer in test. Like add a tramp I can stamp. See that, yeah. Add a tra- tramp stamp. Is is the cover up tattoo better than the tramp stamp? I'm not sure. At least it's not a trap stamp. I mean, no, I suppose it's not. But I mean, it is. It is garish. I'd I'd rather have a not. I'd rather have a shit. Not. Oh, speaking of, um, in one of the last matches of his career in Japan for Team Vader Vader time, um, fight the bank, Big Bang, um, Test defeated Lance Hoyt. There you go. What a link. In the main event, no less. <laughs> Nothing screams main event more than uh, Lance Hoyt versus Tess. This is in Shinkiba First Ring as well, current home. Uh... Are you sure I was on this card? Jesus. The more you know. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who finds this interesting, but I find this very interesting. <laughs> you rest- <laughs> 
Can you dig it? Sucker! Wow! 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 I recently saw for my 2000 project video comes out. Actually, I shouldn't say the video comes out tomorrow because I don't know when this is releasing. <laughs> um, but Spike Dudley versus Mike Awesome, weirdly good match. Who versus Not Mike the one Awesome? Sorry, gets, um, Spike Dudley. All right. Didn't Tess go out with Stacey Keebler? He did. Huh. <laughs> I mean, fair play to him, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but things I found out tonight, Rob fancies Stacey Keebler. I mean... I oh, Jesus. I, should, I don't think I should shock anyone, to be fair. <laughs> She's got legs that seem to go on for light years. But that just reminds me... Remember Ma- Maria's theme? Maria Canellis? Yeah. Um, it was like no. le- called Legs Like That, and it was like a really bad pop punk song. Oh, God. Hang oh, on. no, gonna... I do know that. Here no, I do again, remember that. My good medicine. It's so weird. It's so shit. It's like, like a... it sounds like it's like from Son of Dork or something like that. You know how like busted is like shit Blink when I take? Yes. It's like that shit busted. It's like there's a hierarchy. <laughs> I've been Here listening it is. to a ridiculous. Here it is. I've been ri- whoop. Spin a Rooney. Wasted um, motion. Jr. will not put over the spin a Rooney. Oh no, Jr. hates it when wrestlers waste time. It's like, how are you surviving? As like a commentator in the modern day, we don't like it when people waste time. Can you close your eyes? You So, um, power rank for Dudleys. Um, Bobby, Spike, Devon. There's more Dudleys than that, Rob. Um, sign guy, <laughs> big dick. Believe it or not, there's more Dudleys than that. Hang on. List of Dudleys. Here we go. Um, Wikipedia coming to the rescue. Okay. Um, the Dudley family. Are you ready? Yes. There is Big Dick Dudley. Yeah. A Dudley from 1995 to 1999. Bubba Ray Dudley. Chubby Dudley. Dances with Dudley. Dudley Dudley. D1 Dudley. Sign Dudley, Dudley Dudley. Spike Dudley Dudley. Well, Dudley um, Dudley's my favourite one. <laughs> Spike Dudley, Snot Dudley, and Big Daddy Dudley. Never shown. <laughs> Big Daddy Dudley is like their dad. Um, and then their associates are uh, Axel Rotten, the Bushwhackers, um, Joel Gertner, otherwise known as Dudley Dudley, um, Jenna Jameson, Lady Dudley, and the Vampire Warrior, <laughs> otherwise known as Gangrel. Gangrel, I was just going to say. Um, and there are Dudleys outside of um, ECW. Are you ready? Of course. The Backseat Boys, the Backseat Dudleys, Psycho Sam Dudley, Schmuck Dudley. Stacey Keebler, otherwise known as the Duchess of Dudleyville. Um, Steve Scrapper, cousin um, cousin Steve, TNA. Um, Big Vern Dudley. <laughs> Yoko Dudley and Doug Puke Dudley. Doug Puke Tyrell Dudley. Dudley. And then there's Tyrell Dudley and Terence Dudley. <laughs> so, Rob, with, with that information... <laughs> I still think Dudley Dudley is my favourite. Yeah, Dudley Dudley. What a name. I wonder if he turned hey, out to be anyone. Referee putting himself over. I, I hate referees to put themselves over. And ta- test instantly tapping out. Instantly. To, to be fair, I like when that happens in wrestling. Because that, that is actually what happens when you get put in a submission. Okay, Uzi, really, I like... Uzi used to do that. Um, the Pope. Um, Elijah Burke. Yes, indeed. Indeed, it's weird because he was a boxer, not a submission wrestler. Really? Was he? Yeah, he was a bo- he was an amateur boxer. Yeah. I'm, more, I'm full of useless trivia knowledge, but I still you can't really get a job. Dun, 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 dun. Down, now. down, now. down, down. That was fine. I'd give okay. it two stars. 
I'd give it three just to, because Dudley. Because Dudley. Hello, Rock. Is this the best Rock aesthetic? Um, like just simple t-shirt, trunks, hair, not looking like he's about to explode. Because right now, Rock is scary jacked. Yeah. You can really see where Eli Drake gets his promo inspiration from. Oh yeah, 100%. By by which I mean he's just stolen the rock He's just 100% stolen it, yeah. And Garth doesn't like like it when I say that. (laughs) 10 days straight! 10 days! I think it's about a rock problem. If goes by so fast that if he slips up, he's going too fast for you to notice. He is so fucking good, though, isn't he? Yeah. Great entertainer wrestler. Oh, God, yeah. One of the best, if not the best. Like, when I think of entertainer wrestlers, like, people who are, like, not technically gifted wrestlers, but, like, a uh, charismatic enough to pull it off. There's like Rock. Um, yeah, Rock's basically in the league of his own there, isn't he? Foley, maybe? Oh, uh, you have to get the t- cook. You know, you can, this is, you can tell this is actually there because there's just random scars all over him. Are we. I. Oh. No, they just put his music on for. Oh. You think you know me? It really disappoints me when it's not Alter Bridge. That really disappoints me when it's fucking Rob Zombie. This is sh- this is his worst theme, and he's had some. And he had, and his uh, first theme wasn't great. That whole bam, 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 bam. That was shite. It was shite. It was not great. Like honestly, he needed Alter Bridge. Like what was holding him back for all these years? It was the fucking theme. Bad. Such also, a co- good wrestler. Though. I fucking love that, Edge. That coat could also use some work. Oh, that coat is not great, no. This, this is like middle evolution, Edge. Like, no one's yeah. favourite Pokemon is a middle evolution. Yeah, no one likes Charmeleon. No no one... Oh, too fair, oh, I love Ivy. Beagle! Beagle! One Big of the Willy best Weeks! Wrestlers. So, I'm actually just genuinely... Like, I understand this is basically my gimmick on these watch ones, but I'm genuinely curious about Regal's career. Have you ever seen his late NXT stuff? I have, yes. It's incredible. So good. Is this a brass knocks on a pole match? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You have Regal and you're making him do... <laughs> How is that icy title so small? You look 52. I thought he was older. I think it's just because he's been fucking going for ages. Yeah. Oh, we're well, starting. <laughs> he was in WWF in 1991. He took on... Oh, he's a dark match guy. He was. He did dark matches when we went to the Albert Hall. Never mind. Um... WC Dub, New Japan, NWA. Oh, he, it's a surprise. He's very much a company man when he's there, by the looks yeah, of things. Yeah, definitely. Which is an admirable quality. Actually, there's a great story about when he got signed to WCW. Um, he was like, I'll happily sign with you, but I'm finishing these dates first. Mm. And they were like, do you have a contract with them? He's like, no, I'm just going to honor my word. <laughs> What a man. he's such a man. Such a man. <laughs> such a man. Have you ever so seen that? glad I've... you got that. Have you ever seen... Um, Ridley, he, he he turns whatever he fucking does into gold, right? To the point where he had a run on fucking superstars. And he was incredible. Like, have you ever seen his rap towards um, R-Truth? I have. It's great. And then when he came out against Daniel Bryan, and they just played his theme... <laughs> Such a man, 
Such a man. Man. Such a man. He's a real, real man's man. To be fair, both these men are company men. I say company men. Ed is basically just WWE for life, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Which, to be fair, can you really, can you really see Ed going to somewhere like Ring of Honor and doing well? I think if he was given the opportunity, I mean, okay, but like. 2000, like 2002 to 2006 Ring of Honor, do you really think, again, he's going to be doing the stuff that fucking Homicide was? No, but going back to what you said earlier about Christian being a better wrestler, I also can't imagine Christian doing it either. I think Christian could have fit, like, with, like, with Danielson's. Like, because Kurt Angle's not a million miles away from Danielson. Yeah, but Kurt Angle also had fantastic matches with Edge. So, you know, you can yeah. make that argument for Christian. You can also make it for Edge. I think I think if you're going to compare them, those two are oh. far more similar in calibre of wrestling than the Hardys were. That's, you know, yeah, they definitely are. But what I'm saying is Chris, um, they both have... They're, they're both well-rounded, but Edge is better at the charisma and um, Christian's better at, like, timing and running the ropes and shit like that. See, I actually think Christian's funnier. <laughs> I think Christian is Christian's, funnier than Edge. I think Christian's funnier outside the ring. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, that looked, that looked messy. I've got Taz's theme in my head now. <laughs> or is it Romans? Or is it Romans? Down, down, down. By the way, have you seen um, his match against um, Jey Uso against Brian from this week's SmackDown? I haven't. I've heard it's good, though. I think from you. Um, yeah, because I think you'd like it. Um, Brian ta- targets VM, so it's your kind of match. Um, but <laughs> um, Roman Reigns was sitting like at ringside, but like in an armchair. No, no, like an office chair, like a really nice office chair. Amazing. And he was like a fucking mafia boss looking over Uso. It's fucking cr- incredible. I like Roman now, but we don't really let him talk. He's just an imposing motherfucker. Yeah, you don't have Roman talk. Just stand there and look scary. You know who should you know who should learn a lesson from that? It's fucking New Japan. Don't let fucking Coach Rabushi talk. Because when he does, you lose the lineage of the IWGP championship. <laughs> I'm still not over that. Like I'm not watching New New Japan religiously, but I'm still angry. <laughs> like that's a WWE move, isn't it? Yes. Like Jesus. I don't understand, I don't understand the thought process like, at all. Would you believe that the only because re- Edge didn't grow up like with the money to go to wrestling school? The only reason he got in was because he won a competition. Really? Yeah. Can you believe we almost lost um, Edge, like Edge, to um, fucking wealth inequality? That's disgusting. Tiger Driver! Oh, God! What the fuck? Jesus. Regal's really good at selling when he's... Ups- I guess it's because he always walks like that. Like, he always walks like someone poured tea down his ass. Yeah, he always looks, walks like he shit himself. Yeah. But then he's got that shit sort of dried onto his trousers. Yeah. And it's like it's sticking like, to his ass. It's like that anti Donna sketch. It's like, now we go to the man who shit himself, but he's handling it incredibly well. <laughs> I just wrestled for the in, like it's, it's weird because we had the WWE between like like the nineties and the early two thousands used to send out their wrestlers to random fucking places, mm. like they sent Edge out to Puerto Rico. I wouldn't dream um, of going to Puerto Rico, fucking hell. As a wrestler, like I'm sure it's a lovely country. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, like, but like the wrestling scene sounds fucking horrific. The wrestling scene sounds fucking terrifying. Absolutely. The fact that the guy who stabbed Brody is still walking free is ridiculous. Disgusting, isn't it? I don't get it. We 
did Edge get busted open? <laughs> we keep missing people being busted open. How does this keep happening? <laughs> There's just blades, blades everywhere. Oh, another tiger driver. Oh, I do love me a tiger. I do love me a t- tiger bomb. Is I was just going to say, I think it's more a tiger bomb than a tiger driver. Yeah, driver. Yeah, tiger driver. You'd have to sit out. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like Roderick Strong's one where he goes down on his knees. Hmm. Well, that is a tiger driver, or more of a tiger driver, anyway. Yeah, I think if you go down with it as a driver, if you stay up with it as a bomb. But then again, with a Batista bomb, you sit out. It's weird. Like, what's the difference between a lariat and a clothesline? I've never understood the difference between a lariat and a clothesline. Someone once, someone once explained to me. I think it's different parts of the arm, but honestly, I think it's just because WWE didn't want to use the word lariat. Hmm. But when they use the word, but when they use the word leg lariat, why don't we just call it a leg clothesline? Because <laughs> that sounds so much more clumsy. <laughs> a leg clothesline. <laughs> clothesline. <laughs> it's why like calling just... your foot the hand of your leg. Well, it, it basically is. Are we going like to see another stand... Tiger Bomb? Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Uh, uh. Essentially, when um, you're standing up, you're just doing a reverse handstand. That was messy. <laughs> Are you talking about my analogy of uh, Hurricane Rana? Yeah, both. Um, I like the colour of edges tights. The white, white and green. green. White and green, bit of black, nice little colour scheme. Oh, okay, he held the rope. Oh, mm, okay, I'll let him off there. It's an underrated colour scheme. It is. Like, I can't think of much else that uses it. Um, Shamrock shake? Anything Irish, basically? Anything Irish. Seamus. The Irish for bullshit. Oh, no, I'd, I'm so disappointed about that, that Seamus do McIntyre match on Raw, because I was told, oh, it's match of the year. No, it's not. Why? Not, not you, the guy who told me it was match of the year. <laughs> I've never got an on a pole match because, like, the heel, like, the face always gets it and then the heel always uses it. Hmm. I've, just, I've never really understood it anyway, to be honest. Like, how, when was the first pole match? When was. The first pole match wrestling. Because on a pole match, is it just always like the oh, Jesus. Um, first thing brought up for bad booking? Mm. Okay, there's no answer. I'm not being given an answer, but I have been directed to a sports article, 10 most ridiculous on a pole matches. Let's fight. Let's read this together, shall we? Um, Booker T was a Jeff Jarrett, San Francisco 49ers match. We can all agree that that was ridiculous. Yep. Um, Divas Division, mistletoe on a pole. What? <laughs> um, Crowbar versus Meng, chair on a pole. Um, the Calgary Kid versus Eugene contract on the pole. That's when Miz was fired, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And we just brought Eugene back because, yeah, Tank <laughs> Big Al versus Tank Abbott leather jacket on a pole match. Oh God! Rock versus Mankind, pink spare, strip on a pole match. Spare, spare. Cruiserweight division, pinata on a pole match. Oh, so I remember that. Um, Diva division, fuzzy dice on a pole match. Okay, like just like sometimes, some sometimes just to get something. Sometimes it's just a ladder match for cowards. <laughs> um, the, let's have a look. Um, Buff Bagwell was um, Judy Bagwell on a pole match, but she wasn't on a pole. She was on a forklift. Oh, Regal, you sneaky fuck! See, I told you that's what. Ah. Shane Douglas is but oh, I Viagra on a pole. Question. Go on, like. The implication of the Viagra on a pole match is that we can't get it up, right? Surely you wouldn't want to contest that in front of a crowd. And surely, like, you'd want to send discreetly. Let's go to the pharmacist, mate. Actually, you know what's funny? Um, all around my town, Viagra with apparently recently went generic or something, so you can get it over the counter. And all around my town, there's posters for it. 
<laughs> so like all of my town, there's like fucking an old man going, Margaret, in nine to ten minutes, I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you the night of your life. And Chris, Margaret's Chris just, O'Brien hailing from Viagraville. <laughs> and Margaret's probably just lying there going, oh man, it's not, I just, I've enjoyed not having to have sex with you. Hi, Kurt. I, it's weird seeing him in the air, isn't it? Did you see the fake out? He like he teased himself to go to AW. I did. I did see that. That is that was an expert piece of fucking <laughs> fate, wasn't it? I bet he only did that because like I have like I wouldn't be surprised if he did that just because um he knew it was going to be Christian and he wanted to keep it a surprise, so he was like diverting attention. Maybe. Why does he have two men? I've only only one one. I have no idea. <laughs> the Olympics is just. <laughs> He's such a fucking dork. He's great. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a counting for Fresh Prince of Bel Air became like a badass. Yeah, exactly. Not unusual you have to have fun with anyone. Do 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 do. Angle's another one of those ones who was like a one company man whenever he was there, but he does have some interesting excursions. Um, the Inoki Genome Federation, our old friend. We're going to have to watch one of those shows one day. I hope you realise. I don't think we are going to ever do that. We'll do it for charity, if we ever get to a point where we could do it. So, if someone donates 20 quid to charity, we'll watch the Inoki Genome Federation show. Um, he's been to AAA. In a hair versus hair match, that seems pointless. What's the point? Oh, the second hair versus hair match. Hang on, would Kurt Angle be the second? Hang on, what the fuck? No, hang on. Why would you? What's the point? Angle being in a hair versus hair match. Surely that's like Garth being in a hair versus hair match. <laughs> ah, forgot about this. <laughs> Go on, Maven lad. Guess what I'm going to look up now. What the fuck was that? See, Undertaker's just mad because Maven doesn't carry a gun into the locker room. (laughs) Fucking video gamer. I bet you Maven is a massive fucking gamer. Uh, Maven's been in Heartline Wrestling Association uh, Memphis Wrestling The NWA TNT Pro Wrestling He's a really fucking boring career has Maven um, TNA He wrestled seven matches in TNA He didn't win any of them Oh no he did Oh no he didn't He didn't win any, any on the main card He was in the street fight Against the Dudleys. I was really oh, hoping there'd be some... F- yeah, and then he didn't wrestle between 2008 and 2014 and then in 15 he came back. Clearly trying to make like a big comeback, but clearly no one cared because he didn't get booked. Um, the Rock there, wearing Yoshiko's um, trousers. <laughs> Do you like American Badass Taker? I like American Badass Taker. I've never had an issue with it. I understand why people don't like it. Because he was slightly out of shape. Like wasn't as good I, in the ring. I, think I, I like it in theory. I like watching t- um, Biker Taker entrances, but I don't like watching Biker Taker matches. Like, I, I can't imagine this will be class. a good match. I imagine this will be a fun match for you because it's going to be very nostalgic for you. You're a big rock oh, fan. God, yeah. See, I was... I, like, by the time I was getting into wrestling, Rock had been out of it for seven years. He was more like whispers. You think about Taker's streak, and <laughs> you think about who hasn't been a part of it. Kurt Angle. Rock. Rock Austin. So Austin. Because they never, they always need, want to take him on the card, but they never wanted him in a big program. <laughs> they, always use this, they always use this, this um, fucking song in video packages, don't they? Down, down, da, da, da. It's that and ha 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 ha. They use loads. Yeah. 
Oh my god, he's rolling! Rolling, 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 rolling. WWE's rolling, favorite rolling, band rolling, 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 rolling. in the whole world. Back up, back, back up. up! Tell me what you want to do now. Hands on our hands down, back up, back up! Tell me what you're gonna do now. Rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. Undertaker.com. Was that a genuine website? I am. Holy shit! It. I'm gonna see if anyone has still is using that domain domain name. Hang on, Undertaker.com. It just redirects you to WWE.com. That is very disappointing. Oh, and WWE.com right now is like such a boring corporate layout. Are you a fan of Limp Biscuit? I am a fan of Limp Biscuit. I like one of their albums. <laughs> is it the one with Rolling on it? <laughs> um, hang on, it has a weird name. Hang on, is it uh, chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water? There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's the one with rolling uh, on it. And it has it's my win my way on it. I think does it? This time I'm gonna let it up. Like, oh, we didn't get to hear enough of rocks. What's your favorite variation of rocks thing? I think this one was on now. I qu- I can- see. I like his cur- the one he uses now, but I kind of want that mixed with the- him saying what Rock says. Mm. He's really being rocked. Oh God! <laughs> what do you think of Rock's bull tattoo? It's it's not great. It's better but, uh, than like, Kevin Owens. You know what it's like? It's like if Cody's but, um, tattoo but was uh, but on his arm. Where it's like a bit of a shit logo, but you're sure that Rock likes it. Yeah, but it's not as garish as if it was on your neck. Actually, I just realised what my favourite Rock look is. It's this look, but a year later when he has the big tribal tattoo. Yes, 2003. Yeah, it's like so, the perfect mix between current rock and this rock. Mainly 19 rock. Yeah. Perfect, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I still I prefer the one he had after this though. Taker. Yeah, you know, you've done it and now. Now you've gone and made, gone a, and made big a big mistake. mistake. I think it's just because it's fun to like impersonate. I can't allow. <laughs> you have to do it like you swallowed a cat. Yeah. Nom, nom. Like in your head, you're in like some smoky bar in Memphis. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> and like, there's a guy behind you in like a tea chest base. I'm sure as, that on the hard like cap, there face. is a Slovenian flag. As in the character, as in like the monsters from Doctor Who. No, as in Slovenia, <laughs> as in the country. <laughs> well, yeah, they're not from Slovenia or Slovenia, they're from Rexicolical Thalabitorius. God, Rob. Oh, God, that's the dorkiest thing I think you've ever said. I, really? Because I've talked about low level competitive play in Pokemon on this podcast. <laughs> that is true, you have, actually. Here's the thing, I, I sometimes feel like you and Garth judge me for how much wrestling I watch until you realise what I enjoy outside of wrestling. Yeah, and then suddenly we're like, you know what, I actually wish he would have what just carried on with the wrestling. <laughs> to be fair, I'm pretty sure you support my love of music apart from... It's weird, because me, you and Garth, we, we either seem to completely vibe with the music, or we completely disagree. Mm. For example, my undying love for Cardio A. Jepsen. Emotion is one of the best pop albums of the decade, Robert. <sighs> it's, have you listened to it? I refuse to listen. I'm, I'm Wait, refusing to acknowledge to you. Emotion B-Sides is good as well. Fever, what a track. Mega tune. I'm sure Taker's can... just said, motherfucker. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fire him? That's true. I'd make him change his shiny, shiny trousers. But 
they're very error appropriate. <laughs> oh god, yeah, absolutely. Them I'm and now, Edge's coat. I'm now just imagining um Captain Hope from Brooklyn Nine Nine is like, oh that stupid mustache. That mustache was error appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> It's Undertaker's hair I'm not jiving with. No, I get that. Do you know what's really offending me? The fact that Rock's calves are cut out of his boots. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Is that a what separate... That you achieve? know what? You know what? I have a feeling it's that's his shin pads and not his boots. I think he just has small boots. Are these kick pads? Yeah, maybe. Because you can see a little strap. That has to be kick pads. It's either that or Rock is moonlighting in a Rocky Horror Picture Show. (laughs) I'm still proud of myself of a joke and making him a necklace in a video. Go on. So, everything will be set. So, you watched my last last in the video, didn't you? Of course. Um, Ends on, like, the gong foreshadowing the end of the streak mm-hmm. um, so I'm going to start it going Lesnar needed something big did they get him something big well I remember Wells going to transition into the big show scene nice <laughs> so I was like well it's the <laughs> it's the I, big show and it's, I'm, it's just struck me that big show is not going to be on this because <laughs> this is when he got big so he chucked him down in OBW Oh no, he'd come back up a rumble, he might be on this car. I just wanna hear the I just wanna hear the theme to be honest. Especially this era of Big Show theme. Well Well it's the big show. Would you like to hear about Undertaker's exploits in New Japan Pro Wrestling? You're gonna tell me anyway, so <laughs> Well, um he was known as Punisher Dice Morgan. Um, he teamed with Crusher Bam Bam Bigelow against Masa Saito and Shinya Hashimoto in a winning effort at Corican Hall. Good start. Good start to your New Japan career right there. Then he lost to Chono, Choshu and Hashimoto with Bam Bam, Mike Kitchener and himself. But to be fair, Ricky Choshu won, won, he, he wasn't jobbing to people, was he? No. Ricky Choshu in 1990. Um, it's mostly tags to be honest which is a bit disappointing mostly against Hashimoto um, oh he went against Pegasus Kid I'm sure he killed it um, oh he, he had an IWGP Tag Team Championship shot in March um, in a losing effort with Scott Hall against Shinya Hashimoto and Master Sayo mm-hmm. I've only had a one on one effort with Shinya Hashimoto do you want to guess how that went he lost he did lose in time unknown. Great. <laughs> you know who was on that card, though? Super Strong Machine. Who is apparently a legend, and yet not, I never see him in anything. <laughs> like, you know me, Rob. I've done a few Retro Japan pop projects in my time. I still can't find one that actually includes fucking Super Strong Machine. Like, it seems to be just the mask that seems to be over, and not, like, him. I think that's the case for a lot of mask wrestlers, to be fair. Because, quite frankly, the only thing I like about Super Strong Machine is for parodies. Like, the Love Machine, Super Starlight Machine. Oh, we're into the Causeway. Into the Concourse. No, don't go over there, that's the exit. You can't go through the exit door, don't go in through the outdoor. He's going to set off an alarm. The janitor's going to be pissed off. Oh, we're back. Hello. That was a pointless little <laughs> roundabout. Well, I think we can safely say this has been the best match on the card so far. Yeah. It's not been the most entertaining pay-per-view. No. No. This thing's so, rough. You could have picked for, picked by the series 2002, which is only like 10 minutes longer. Here's what we want you to do, Taker. We want you to have short hair, but we want it to be very obviously ginger. Yeah, like, it's a bit of a shame, because I don't want to ever see Taker's natural hair colour. I actually don't want to see Taker talk, to be honest, because, quite frankly, that's ruined a bit of my childhood. I'm not going to lie. 
I've managed to make it through the whole thing. But Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that Joe Rogan interview? Mm, not great. Not great. Not great at all. He wishes he misses when men were men. Apparently, that's something. To be fair, we already knew he was a run. We were wearing a fucking blue lights matter T-shirt in the um show, wasn't he? To be fair, in... we we all miss those times. What when men were men? When, when men, men were, were men. men. When men were men. When men were Appar- real men. Apparently, I'm um I'm entitled Gen Z, so. Oh like, yeah, one hundred percent. You don't have an opinion. I think is where we're going with that. Call- Callum was a my, my twin brother. He um he went. He, oh, I'm so sick of Gen Z. I'm like, I have bad news for you. <laughs> Which, <laughs> but he keeps trying to start conversations about fucking cancel culture, and it's like I'm not engaging. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. I kind of wish for like proper football chants for wrestling. Because <laughs> it's, it's the one thing I like about football is the chants. Like, if one team loses, we lose every week. You're nothing special, but we lose every week. That's amazing. That's my favourite football chant. Fucking hell, what a DDT <laughs> that was. That was lovely. Um, That's my favourite chant ever, I think. Because I support Newcastle and we do legitimately lose every week. I don't know much about football, but one of the things I do know is Newcastle don't win very often. We we win very well. I am fucking enjoying this match. <laughs> I like how you just stopped in the middle of the sentence to say that. I felt like that was the appropriate time to say it. What? Rocky. Rocky. So what's the main event of this? Has it, has it been said even once? I think... Who's going to be champion then? So heading into WrestleMania 18, Jericho will Jericho, be champion. Jericho, so it's going to be, is it maybe a triple threat? Jericho, Angle, Trips, maybe? We could, we could, we could look this up, but we, I, I'm enjoying the surprise. It's, I'm enjoying the keep, surprise. It's keeping me going. This isn't the worst pay-per-view we've done. Cause, no, definitely not. Like, honestly, SummerSlam 97 was worse. SummerSlam 97 had one good match, and that was ruined <laughs> by Austin's broken neck. I don't know, I liked Brett vs. Taker. It was alright. Too long. It was, it was so clearly a... It was so clearly a... <laughs> um, a vehicle for another thing, though, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. To be fair, Rob, we're watching the last pay-per-view before WrestleMania. What the fuck do you think this main event's going to be? That is true. I am I think it might be Jericho versus Angle, or Jericho versus Triple H versus Angle as the main event. The way they've Tri- set it up. Well, Triple H won the Rumble. So it... Surely he's not in that. Well, I know that Steph has been made the special guest referee, according to uh, according to Coachman. Oh, have or... you ever seen? The, by the way, have you ever seen the build for? Sorry, Brock's in time. Have you ever seen the build for Triple H versus um, Taker from the year before this, where um, Kane's 17. just standing? Yeah, where Kane's just standing <laughs> yes. there holding a mannequin <laughs> who's meant to be Stephanie McMahon. It is so obviously a mannequin. <laughs> it is. Fucking ridiculous. By the way, so um I forgot to tell you this. I didn't want to say it on the um stardom cast because like that that podcast was gonna be um long enough as it is. But I looked up um what's his face? The doll guy. The doll um, guy. Like the one we hate. What are we talking about here? From from the Stardom show. Oh, Kitaro. Like, yeah, I looked him up. Um, one of the first images is him with with Stephanie McMahon. Seriously, <sighs> put, type Kitaro into Google, and it's like Stephanie McMahon chewing on his ear. <laughs> oh God, no, no, no! Like he just went to WWE and took a ton of photos. Like, at least he wasn't, like, assaulting wrestlers. That is true. What do you think of the um, logo for this show? It's, it's... I don't know. I, I don't hate it. 
That is it's, a it's very a... good DDT again. Hello, they Kimble really from The Rock. That's the most athletic thing he's ever done. Spy Muster! Oh, here it comes, oh, Robert. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I used to, like, it's mad to me that they actually programmed him to do this in the game instead of just doing the other. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh. Thank you! Subvert the silly move. <laughs> oh, oh that's that. just an all-out dick kick. There's not a chance the referee didn't see that. Dick kick city. Although I'm not sure whether this is no DQ. I think it might be no DQ. Because they spent a lot of time on the outside. Mm-hmm. Laying the smack of down. Laying the smack of down. Choke slam! That's a decent choke slam. Somewhere between. To be fair, have you ever seen any of the Kiritawe choke slams? They're mental. They are enormous. Shit, the rock has kicked out. I must admit, the crowd is fucking hot for this. Yeah, but to be fair, it's, they, it's they've rock not versus quite, Undertaker, yeah. They've not quite lost the actually ever shine yet. No, not quite. The invasion's over and done with, they can kind of just rebuild and yeah. move into a good job. You're to looking fair, at 2004 when the shine starts going off. Nah, no, um, nah, it's definitely later this year. Where's Taker going? You've done it now. You've gone and made a big mistake. We haven't had Kane on this show yet. No, did I ever tell you? Uh, so I was when I was two, 2014. How old did I be? Like seven. Oh seven. Oh eight. Oh nine. 2010. 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'd be 16, 17 years old, and I was following. No, I'd be. No, what I'd be. What the fuck has just happened? Has he just? He's just what? lost it. He's, he's getting his rifle. I genuinely thought he was getting a rifle, then. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell, it's over. It's a cattle he's broken prod. His, he's broken his bike. You've done it now. You've, he's just there like, have oh. you ever seen Pulp Fiction? How was it Whoa. take a flare at Mania 18? It was, where Ann Anderson got involved and hit a really nice spine buster. To be fair, Ann Anderson's like the coolest fucker. Oh, God, yeah. Like, I kind of just want to sit down and have a beer with Ann Anderson. Definitely. That is... Like, he seems oh, like... Oh, no. He seems like Not the kind with of... with his shitty Aww. sharpshooter. Sit Ann... down, Rock. Ann seems like the kind of guy, um, kind of old guy you could sit and have a beer with and it won't get weirdly racist by the end of the evening. <laughs> Oh, Vince, what are you doing here, Vince? Oh, he was feeding with Flair, remember, wasn't he? Because after the bland split happened, Flair took Raw, Vince took SmackDown, wasn't it? True. Do you know what? Whatever you want to say about Vince, he took some fucking stellar bumps, didn't he? Yeah. He was not afraid of putting his shit on the line. He's a scummy businessman, but my God, can the man bump. Oh, God, yes. Now pay your wrestlers healthcare, you cunt. This is this is this getting is, overbooked, isn't it? <laughs> this is a very attitude error finish. Rock bottom, rock bottom, rock bottom, rock bottom. Bottom's a pretty shit move. It's yeah, it's a urinagi with some stank on it. No, there's no stank on it. The urinagi's the thing that has stank on it. <laughs> uh, depends who does like, it. N- no one's landing on their neck from a rock bottom. Depends how they take it. Yeah, actually, it depends on the wrestler as well. I'm pretty sure if he went off against Jack Evans, he'd find a way. But... I don't know. Because I, I think you and I, yeah, I just think Samoa Joe, who does, like, doesn't care where you land. I love Samoa Joe's just because it end, like just as they does it in the corner. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I love it. You know what's a really good you and Agi, but they don't pull it out nearly as much as they'd like, is Momo. Yeah, um, well, she does it. She's, I don't know, it isn't as impactful as it used to be. She does the spinning bit with it, doesn't she? Yeah. That's what The Rock should have done. He should have spun The Rock bottom. A rock a A rock a It's better than the cane a Rooney, fucking hell. Can I tell you about a thing I do when, do when I watch wrestling shows that you might find weird? 
Just think about how you phrased that sentence, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of helped this next bit. Um, I sometimes look in the, at the shirts in the crowd to see if there's anyone there who time travelled. Right. Because that would be the giveaway, wouldn't it? Like someone wearing a non error appropriate t shirt. Do you think if you had the ability to time travel or had. Right, if it, do, you, assuming, do you really if think it's... they'd make such a rudimentary mistake? Here's the thing. If oh. it's like at the point in like where like it's like that family guy. Oh, it's Kurt Hannon. Oh, hello, um, Mr. Perfect. It's like you have the point where it's like recreational time travel. Where you're going back to see a random wrestling show? Do you really expect like Marks to be that clever? That's true. So it's like someone wearing like an AEW shirt or a Bullet Club T-shirt. Rats, another another little in reference. It's Vince uh, Vince Russo writing this. How can someone like Mr. Perfect give birth to someone so boring? The genesis of McGillicutty. From now on, the moment will be the moment. <laughs> Forever in this moment. What, you're wearing a wetsuit? You're going to women? Generic post grunge, generic post grunge, generic post grunge. There you go, number one contender match. Triple H Where? versus Kurt Angle with Big Steph McMahon. As, so is uh, Jericho not on this card? I think Jer- I think it's Jericho it must be Jericho versus Austin in the main event. That would make sense. Oh <laughs> They have a weirdly storied relationship, Triple H and Angle. Hmm. I still love the meme of like where Angle's whistling just before Triple H punches him. <laughs> it's like walking into Monday morning like. He's one I'm surprised never won a rumble, you know, Kurt. Yeah. But then again, he's ne- I was about to say he's never someone they'd put in the main event of Mania, but we literally did a watch along. We literally just did a watch along of it. Yeah, I think it's because he was always champion around Mania time. Like he was That's champion. That's true. Going he was in... champion. He was champion going into Mania nineteen. He was champion like literally before the pay per view before seventeen. Um, he was champion at twenty. Champion at twenty two. I think he was injured at twenty one. No, he wasn't. He was against Sean at twenty one. He was against Sean at twenty one. In um, a fantastic was gone by fucking match. Great match. Which Garth tried to give eight out of ten. And his reasoning was he doesn't like Sean. Huh. So it, I overruled him. It's one of those ones that you want there. It does seem like our marriage is falling apart. It does seem like we're fighting all the time. And I realize that there's... It's always ballsy to do a breakup angle on TV, isn't it? It is, yeah. Especially when you haven't been married that long. <laughs> what the fuck is that hair? Like, I don't like... Like, I try my hard, hardest not, not to, like, mention it, but, like, this is so, like, 2000s it hurts. The crimping. The crimping of the hair. <laughs> is that what it's called? 2002? Is she pregnant? I don't, I don't think if she is actually pregnant. Damn right, Triple H is a daddy. Oh, I can't help feeling this is a swerve. <laughs> that was a very yeah, open well, mouth kiss right that there. That was a very open mouth kiss. <laughs> hey, up on. Whoa. What? Swerve! <laughs> it does feel like Russo's booking it. It does feel like Russo's booking this pay-per-view. Oh, shit. God's sake, Linda really was a fucking mastermind, wasn't she? I'm sorry, that's not, that's not a wedding dress. I was, like, do you I, know what? I was just going to say that. Like, it's not even, like... I'm not even, like, shaming the dress. It's not a bad dress. It's just literally not a wedding dress. 
There's a lot of boob there. Holy shit, I'm Max is Triple H. Good God. Just to think who he'd be <laughs> feuding with for the rest of the year. Kevin Nash, um, Scott Steiner. No, that's 2003. Oh, no, it's Shawn Michaels this year. Triple H had a good year. He did. To be fair, don't <laughs> don't hit her. Jesus. I understand, like, that's a, literally how all wrestlers figure all problems, but still. <laughs> Just to think, at WrestleMania 18, Angle would be stuck with Kane. Oh, God. It took her a long time to learn how to cut a promo, didn't it? It really did. And I find it baffling that they are trying to get Triple H over as a baby face. Though, to be fair, it's just after his return from that surgery, isn't it? So The only thing, like, as a sympathetic baby face and all. Like, he works as sort of a badass baby face years and years later. That is not a referee outfit. <laughs> That's not regulation. <laughs> is this still Welcome to the Queendom? No, this isn't Welcome to the Queendom. This is Triple H's old theme. Oh, yeah. It's my time. Or well, uh, uh, China's old theme. God, you have to feel for China, don't you? She went through some horrendous stuff, that poor woman. You she don't really know what did. Trouble is. How do you see? I would say Helmsley is Hemsley. I think it's because of Pat Patterson at um, Capital Carnage. Maybe. I genuinely thought Steph McMahon then had some hairy armpits, and I think it is just the crease in her armpit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it, I was very distracted by it. I'm distracted by like the crease in that guy's head. Howard Finkel. Yeah, yeah, the crease in his head. That guy's head. I can only see him from behind, right? Oh. Oh. She's dropped the Helmsley name. What? Chris. She's going to be impartial. Fucking hell, what? I think the thing about Steph, she literally never gets there tomorrow. Hang on, I'm genuinely curious whether or not this is before or after your you suck stuff. Let's see. Hang on, okay. Let's listen. It's after. No, it isn't. It's after. He's fucking shredded, isn't he? Jesus, he's so cool. Not cool, but like, I'm scared of him. You know what's like? It's the Walter effect where he's like, not, doesn't, he doesn't look cool out in any other context apart from the fact that you're scared of him. He's so damn good. Just, he's so damn good. He can be intense, he can be fucking dorky and hilarious. <laughs> he, can be, he can be intense, he can be intelligent. What's the other one? Intensity. He can be in. He in can te- have integrity. integrity. <laughs> he can be in, integral. See, I'm not even going to mention the weird beige things that are meant to be gold on his singlet because I'm too scared of him. Steph, very impressed by the jumping of Kurt Angle. <laughs> Nothing oh, else. Kn- just the jumping. Oh she, oh, she knows how flexible he is. Totally like. It's time to play the game. Play the game. He is over. To be fair. Yo, this is going to be... You know what, what this is? This is probably where we got those fucking recordings for that... for SmackDown vs. Raw, where it's like, Triple H, Triple H. Like, that, Maybe. After this, for the next five years, that's not fucking happening. <laughs> it's all about the game. game. I don't like how, like, fucking... Uh, his, his logo has always been, like, very obsessed to me. Yeah. Like, it's very ill thought out. He has a cool entrance. Like, I fucking hate the man, and, I, and I'm still not over him from the Lesnar video. But he has such a cool entrance. His entrance is fucking great, isn't it? And it I think it helps that his the theme stock. song is just an absolute banger. Well, yeah, we literally just got Motorhead for. For, like, three separate themes, Song. though. For three songs, one he barely uses. I think King like, of Kings it, was... Um, 
Isn't he's not from the authority. That was the authority, yeah. And then evolution was obviously evolution, and evolution then this was just is his. A mystery. He's a very wet man. He, he's very moist, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, though, like the other the other week, I was taking a wee walk because it's one of the few pleasures I have in my life right now. And I was Lucky listening, you. and I got myself a cheeky wee meal deal. But I'm trying not to not to like ha- consume sugar so instead of getting like a coke I got a, a nice little bottle of water walking along this song comes on well, that's a dangerous song to have on when you're holding <laughs> a bottle of water <laughs> God stop smiling Jesus Christ Steph Just all... Stephanie close your mouth love <laughs> she's all top teeth <laughs> Like, I don't know if she, like, this is going to sound rude, but I don't know if she, like, looks hateable or if it's just because of the years of TV. Like, we were talking about Angle being shredded, but Jesus fucking Christ. He's inflated. Yes. Weirdly short hair as well. I have a feeling this is going to be a decent match where we have to work around Stephanie's limitations as a referee. Yeah, I feel like the referee is going to be uh, is going to be a little bit distracting. <laughs> the worst thing a referee can be is distracting. Are we getting the she's a cracker chant? <laughs> <laughs> she's a cracker. I don't like indulging in the like, misogynistic chants at the time, but it's a classic chant. Talk about stuff that hasn't aged well. That promo where Vi- where Jericho and The Rock just stand on the ramp on SmackDown and <laughs> just joke. lay it to Steph. Yeah, it's... <laughs> but also hell. it's like the one bit of come up and she got in her whole career. Yeah, that and Rousey. And she once got thrown into a mud pit by Vicky Guerrero. Look, man, 2013 Raw was rough. <laughs> <laughs> Control and oh, I just saw the flag oh, you were talking about. Oh, fucking hell. Rekimaker. By the way, how ridiculous is it that fucking Okada's been working with two slip discs? It's all... Apparently, he's, the, he's in fucking agony as well. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't... Like, literally, I want, like, um, slips and, like... On the ice, I'm a, like I was fine, but my lower back was sore for a good few days, and I was a little fucking bitch about it. Like, the f- just it shows how tough he is, though. Really, yeah. But also, it also shows the culture, culture in New Japan because you can back me up. Here. It's I've been not just that... New Japan. It's not just New I know, Japan. It's but wrestling. But like, it, even within the fandom, because um, I've been saying since G1 time that Okada looks injured. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. What like, a been... bump that was from Steph. That was... Oh, well, at least we can have, like, a good match now. But, anyway, yeah, like, I was... I've was, i been saying that since G1 time, and you can back me up there. Mm. But, like, when I say that in, like, New Japan spaces, people are telling me to shut the fuck up. Like, you... Cri- like, sometimes you can criticise just anything, and they'll be mad about it. Hmm. Just a reminder, you can critique things that you love. Finding flaw does not mean it's invalid to like it. Alright, Triple H has had, um, what, six do the re themes? So he's had the Hunter Hurst Hamilton one, you know, the do, 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 do. <laughs> yes. Um, DX, um, My Time, Game. Evolution, King of Kings, Power Rangle. Oh, well, number one's <laughs> obvious, isn't it? Let's be honest. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the Connecticut Blue Blood. Unreal. Um, the game. Then um, King of Kings. Um, then Evolution's not called Evolution, is it? It's called Line in the Sand. Yeah. I see a line in the sand. 
then line in the sand, um, then my time. Oh no, DX. Forgot about DX. Uh, yeah, DX, DX. The, my, my DX. time, then connect with Blue Blood. Do you not like my time? I really like my time. I like my time, I just don't like it as much as his motorhead ones. Okay, it's hard to t- top Lemmy. Oh god, yeah. I know someone who like went to, I think it was Reading, um, when Motorhead were playing. Have you played Reading? Um, maybe. I'll check. It doesn't mean, but we were playing a festival that Motorhead was, actually no, it must have been Download. I think it was Download. And, like, oh, they were, they've played Download. It, no, it was Download. And um, he loved all the other bands on the bill, but he only wanted to see Motorhead to see them play the game if they didn't play it because they didn't want to play that live for obvious fucking reasons. Obvious reasons. Like, quite frankly, as, as a musician, if I wrote a wrestling theme, I'd never shut the fuck up about it. But <laughs> I mean, Madonna's proud of it. She performs great as theme often enough. <laughs> Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. What do you think of a little gold bits on Kurt Angle's tights? They're not. They're a bit unfortunate, aren't they? It does look slightly like cow pat. Pretty beige, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's not great. You, like it looks like poopy. Should go see the doctor about. <laughs> Oh, we're getting the angle sucks. It is angle static. Is it a? Is it something to do with the Olympics? Maybe. <laughs> that just his whole personality. That yeah, I think so. But um, because I I never noticed noticed it on I never see watched many like hair angle matches, so I just assumed it's something he got when he was off his tits on painkillers. Maybe. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, that's not really good. It's a, I think it's a, it's a, oh, it's a jacked bird. As in, like, a flying thing, not a... Oh, okay, not a bird with muscles. Yeah, not like a, not like the English word for woman. Yeah, it's like a really... That is a that is the type of tattoo you get on like on holiday when you do Oh yeah. That's Definitely. the type of type of tattoo you see on fucking um what's it called? Tattoo fixes. Oh god, what a show. Do you fair, like I don't even like the people on the show. I think most of them seem like bellends. I just want to see the, the bigger bellends who come in with the <laughs> awful tattoo. Oh, did you see that woman who came in, she wasn't getting a tattoo fixed, she just wanted a tattoo of Miley Cyrus. Oh god. Like never get a ta- like never get a celebrity tattooed on you. Never. Because they will they will either like turn out to be not as good as you thought they were or get cancelled. <laughs> Probably the smooth sleeper hold. I I really hope people didn't put fifty dollars down to see. Stephanie McMahon is a referee. <laughs> is she? I can I can hear her. No, that's just some random woman in the crowd. Is that just women in the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, that's one thing I miss about um, crowds is in Japan just random women shouting the wrestler's name. <laughs> Kento. Is that sticking your head a bit? Yeah, and I don't know the words, so it's just. Uh, and it, I do. Like, have you ever been to an ICW show? Believe me, you'll know the words. <laughs> <laughs> like, even if you've never heard a song before, it just becomes instinctively inside you. <laughs> That's um, what she said. When you call my name. Like a little prayer down on my knees I wanna, wanna take, take you there, there. In the midnight hour Has anyone ever 
How, what, who are like there's Kurt, there's definitely Kurt Angle imitators. Who are they? Chad Gable. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. Charlie Peter, Haas. Charlie. What if Haas and Benjamin were? What was her gimmick? Oh fucking hell! Oh, you know, I <laughs> I just logged into Facebook on my second screen right now, and I see Garth putting up the fact that we used questions TNA team. <laughs> and that, and he's mad at someone because they're saying we've never watched TNA. Oh, such a smart, isn't he? Such a fucking smart. Who? Angle? Not Angle. Um, Garth. <laughs> yes, yeah, Garth. To be fair, I can't imagine Garth being like. I remember I was a wee while ago. I was deciding whether or not to prioritize um, Bloodsport, TJPW, DDT, or um. Takeover, and he was like, Takeover, the other one sounds smarky. <laughs> and to be fair, he's not wrong. He's not, not, he's not, but also, that turned out to be the worst show. Actually, no, that's a lie, I didn't like Bloodsport, but, but I'll be able to tip ones that turned out to be the worst show. I'm not, have you seen Vengeance yet? No, I haven't. Because <sighs> I'm not seeing the hype for. Kushida versus Gargano and I want to know that I'm not crazy and like just hating Gargano because I'm sick of that stereotype because he's bad or at least now he's bad 2018 Gargano was like tight basically Gargano who didn't force himself to go half an hour every match Who has the best America attire? Who has the best what? America attire. I think Angle, to be fair. Yeah, maybe... I'm trying to think. Did Macho Man ever have an America attire? Yes, he did. That must have been cool. <laughs> Just no regard for the fucking rules. In 2002, is there? Unreal. How are you getting away with that? Jesus. How is there another referee spot? Oh, I wonder <laughs> who's going to come down. Vince. You think it's going to be Vince, do you? Nah, I don't no think chance. it's going to be Vince. No chance. Bimmy. Angle slam. Well, yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm clearing this up now. What the worst of Vince Big Fan's song? Oh, she's back. Do, 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 do. How are you she shit? slow counting? I don't understand you, Steph. Count properly! Why is the first thing that comes up when you search Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon AEW? Stop slow counting, Steph, you idiot! Vince McMahon. I tell you what, I just put Vince McMahon into Google. What are the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight results? Don't Google. Sorry, say again. Sorry, I was, no, I was distracted so, by Some of his first results are interesting. There's Vince McMahon brother, Vince McMahon mother, Vince McMahon AEW, Vince McMahon meme, Vince McMahon's house. Actually, I'm curious. Oh my McMahon's house God, like. we've got another ref the, bump. This spot. As said, this is um, a good match ruined by referees. My God, Vince McMahon's house is massive. I mean, I should have seen that coming, but Jesus. That's an excessive house. Anyway, what am I looking for? Oh, yes. Vince McMahon theme lyrics. Would you like to guess the lyrics? No chance. Yes. Something that you got. No chance of that's what you got. Up against a machine too strong, greedy politicians buying souls from us are puppets. We'll find their place in line. Go tie a string around your finger now, boy, because it's, it's just a matter of time. I always thought that was the match of all time. Because you've got... Yeah. I've, I didn't think they would be the words. <laughs> Pedigree! Ooh... Do you know what the last song Jim Johnson did for 3WE was? Go on. Um, Baron Corbin. 
Yeah. One. To be fair, that's a two. decent speed bat. <laughs> Fucking hell, Steph. Jesus. Fucking hell, Dolph What? What are, you, what are you doing, Steph? What are you doing? Christ, she's... She's, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's kicking him in the bollocks. She struggled to get his legs up like a fucking teenager. She really did. A, like, she's like, going to get was, a pedigree. It was like, it was like a teenager and hooking a bra. Jesus Christ. Say what you want about Steph. She's good at eye makeup. She is. It's like one compliment I have for Stephanie McMahon. I have a glittery referee badge. I have boobs, is what it, she's saying. Look at my it, boobs. <laughs> He probably has. I'd say probably. Like, they're not married. Oh, fuck me. That was a good chair shot. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> right, cover him. Okay, or not. <laughs> that knocked him over. Angle slam. Right, count properly now, Steph. <laughs> One. Oh. Oh, there must have been some other convoluted thing. The there will be the another lane. convoluted thing somewhere. We, right, we again, this is really sticking in my craw. Why is Stephanie, the crooked ref, doing a slow count? Because she's stupid? That's my... Uh, yes, suck. she must be. You suck. To be fair, her whole you thing suck. is that she's a bimbo, so... Like, you can't even cheat properly. The fact that he won is, a, is all on him. That's literally just all on angle. Like, I, they're gonna, I bet they're going to... Oh, that is a lot of phlegm. That's a lot of Je- fluid coming out of Triple H. Jesus Christ. He's gone Brock Lesnar levels of pink. How does he How does he have that much fucking fluid after... A, like, because he's sweating quite... It looks like the sweating of leftover water from his entrance. It's very white as well. It is. Like, he's so red. Why is he so red? He's a tomato. <laughs> it's roid rage. Please stop with the close-up. It's really uncomfortable. There we go. We go. Oh, man. I'd rather be looking at Triple H than Jerry Lawler. Is that the guy from Pawn Stars behind him? No. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's just a random bald man. <laughs> <laughs> I want a kiss, is what I think. Oh, I think I want a birthday kiss, I think that sign says. I thought you were saying that you needed a piss. No, 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 no. I'm I'm all right without a piss. No, that's what I thought you said. (laughs) Wayland Academy. What is Wayland? I'm going to Google that. Wayland Academy. Where is Academy? Norfolk. I don't think that's the one he's talking about. So his shirt said um, Wayland Academy. I have a feeling he wasn't talking about the one in um, Norfolk. No. Um, Academy. Does he get his arm up here? Where, where, are, just where, where are they again? Uh, like it, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. There we go. Wayland Academy, Wisconsin. Um, Wayland Academy is a private um, co-educational college. Pre- oh, it's a prep school. Fuck off, you cunt. Prep school, fucking fancy bold cunt. Anyway, he's really milking this, isn't he? He is. Triple H. He didn't even Triple H last year at the Rumble. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> he's going to drink so much milk tonight. He really is. He doesn't drink, but he's going to take so many perks. Who's Angle face at Mania 18 then? Kane. Of course he, of course he does. Two of your favourites. Oh, he fucked up. Take 
<laughs> Kevin Nash is pissing himself. <laughs> Sorry, he's buried for a minute. That was seamless. It's so hard to throw in that many fucking 90s WWF references without coming off as a nerd. What's Did you pre- know that Jericho uh-huh. defeated The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in one night? I walked to Stoke and slap you. Um, <laughs> what do, what's, the, what's the pretty about? Oh, Big Gold. Big Gold, definitely. Then again, I prefer the undisputed to Big Gold. Contentious, but okay. It's a con- I mean, I have a lot of contentious belt opinions. You are a contentious so and so. I think I'm not contentious all that much with like um like match mat with a lot of matches with some exceptions. Mm. But belts, I have a lot of controversial opinions. Oh my god! <laughs> I love the spinner. I don't like the winged eagle. Biffity. Buffity. You know what I like? He, he used to have like the Van Halen tights, and then there's very clearly like a season to sit going on because he just suddenly stopped with them. <laughs> he's just. He's just stalking Jericho. It's such a shame we couldn't find anything better for him at Mania than Scott fucking Hall. Like, yeah, I know. I think I'd have preferred him versus Scott than him versus Diesel. To be fair. To be fair, like at that point, it's a pick between a Scott Hall match and a Kevin Nash match. Has there ever been a great Kevin Na- Bret Hart? Apart from Bret Hart, has there ever been a great Kevin Nash match? He had a good. He had a couple of good ones against Sean. To be fair. Kevin Nash, I'm going to look up... Mania 11, it was the only decent match on the card, him and Sean, and in your house, seven, or is it eight, good friends, better enemies, that's also a pretty decent match. Kevin Nash, great match. Let's have a look at his his match guide. I imagine the ones I've said are pretty high. Match guide, well his match... Well his... It lists them in like, reverse chronological order. Um, 2014 Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah, okay. but he—that wasn't a him match. You can't claim that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kevin Nash versus Triple H apparently is on his match guide at TLC. And holy shit, Kevin Nash is taking on PCO. I want to see that match. He dropped that theme of lyrics far too fast, didn't he? The disturbed version. Yeah. I like, still that think was, it was as iconic. I liked it. No, it's not as iconic, but like it could it could have been great. Yeah, fuck Rock, you all. Oz versus Ron Simmons. God, the fucking decline of WCW in the early nineties was fast. How did these WCW shows have so many fucking cat matches on them? And they, they were really all fit a lot terrible. on them, didn't they? Yeah, because none of them have time. Like, the longest match on the card is 11 minutes. No, that's like, the long- longest one is 16 pe- 17 minutes, but that's a non title 6 and 6 elimination. Anyway. Wait, I'm also gonna. You know how we never know what Jericho's theme is? Mm-hmm. I'm going to look it up, because that's what we're doing tonight. We're solving mysteries that could have been Googled years ago. Theme. Break the walls down! I am beautiful, only insane. By the way, how good is the mix between MGS theme and his? Oh, it's very good. Very impressive. Very seamless. But again, his theme, he, he mixes well with a lot of themes, doesn't he? Like Jericho. True. Let's see. Um, come on, you know I got you. One bit of what's down, bit of what's on. For those about to rock and what you want, baby, you know you're Judas and I'm your priest. 
Ah, that's where the Judas thing. Okay. Um, Baby Wash of the God is not from the leak. <laughs> These are just syllables thrown together. Bring it through the stage in a rage of a beast. Definitely to be arena and break. Yeah, these are just maybe like quit Chris Jericho. We've signed Chris Jericho, make him a fiend. I'm awkward from a deep. I'm awake from a deep sleep. You're all weak. You're living in the agony of defeat. I'm a master of your whole heap. See, look, the second verse is fairly well written, but that first verse. You just threw syllables together. You just threw, that's John Lennon and heroin kind of writing right there. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ready for the heroin, were you? I wasn't really ready for the heroin, no. No one ever is. Break down the walls, Jericho. Jericho. Didn't Jericho always say that he was sad he never had um, the chemistry he wanted with Stone Cold? Say again. I think Jericho once said he was sad he never had chemistry with Stone Cold. But then again, it's amazing. It's amazing what, like, for example, one of Daniel Bryan's favorite wrestlers to work with is Kane. But it's probably because, in ter- but it's probably because in terms of like who you got to work with, um, Kane's probably because you're going to get to a blank canvas. Like he doesn't strike me as someone who's coming to the table with ideas for matches. No, he's a great <laughs> hand. I don't think he's an innovator. Hey, he's done great for relations with the dead. Allegedly. Oh, he flipped it. Let's see, we're going to get a go versus Vegeta here. Yeah, we're just going to stare at each other. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, no, we're not. <laughs> oh, by the way, have you seen who Kano's next challenger is? I have, Vegeta. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, so am I. Okay. Here's the thing. I've seen, t- with the exception, I've seen three Vegeta singles matches, right? Mm-hmm. One was the Go one, which is contentious. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Uh, uh, and the second, the other one is that one with, um, what's his name? Tanaguchi. Oh, yeah. Uh, where, like, they just knocked lumps out of each other for eight minutes. And tell me you don't want to see, like, big, um, big. <laughs> you don't you tell me you don't want to see um that like Keno getting up his um life beat him out of him by a former MMA star. That is true. You're not a fan of Keno. This theme's great though. For a man with a pretty much still broken neck, he's uh, he's not doing too badly here. It's Old ridiculous. stone cold. Like Austin kind of got really lucky. Um, got lucky at the fact that he's really good at brawling. Yeah. Because like you forget how athletic that he was before the neck what injury. Yeah, don't you, you look at stunning Steve and things like that before the neck injury. It's it's night and day. I, the guy in the America t-shirt's been distracting me all night and I've done a good job of not bringing it up up until now America fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> to save a motherfucking day yeah this is just murder <laughs> what this is, exce- this is excessive <laughs> this is hilarious that was funny that was it's like the episode of Scrubs when like his girlfriend can't laugh but she just says that's funny. So fun story, I've never <laughs> seen Scrubs. Never se- I love but again, I'm not sure mm, I'm not sure if it's uh, I don't know, because a lot of it just won't fly today. And I'm not saying that to excuse it, it's just a different time. Just different time, it's, yeah. It's like if you watch I wouldn't expect someone who watched Friends for the first time as a thirty year old now to like it. Like, it's one of those things I think you need to watch at, like, a certain age. Mm. I say that like it's like a kid show. <laughs> There's so but, many chops. Then again, it's on Disney+. Plus. You might as well get it a go. That's true. You have no else to do for the next two weeks. Ten days. Ten days. Basically two weeks. It is. I can't believe... This month will be a year since first lockdown, won't it? It will... It will. 
it's mad to think. Like I was still darting around Scotland just before um, lockdown because I was still doing uni stuff, and we wouldn't like a classes weren't cancelled, and b um, I was managing bands. I had to like go see them. <laughs> Chris Jericho. See, Chris Jericho. A... <laughs> See, here's the thing. We all know that underneath tights, wrestlers wear thongs because it's just the way they can get underwear in without um, showing that they're wearing underwear. But yeah. it's a fact that I don't want to have to admit. Yes, 100%. There are some, there are some wrestlers who clearly do not give a shit. So, like <laughs> Scott Steiner, who will just openly wear a bright purple thong. Oh no, Scott, Scott Stein, you do not look, you do not like um, go out as a chainmail Viking and fucking care about how you look. Like a pe- other people's perception of you. I kind of wish I would like Scott Steiner's level of not giving a fuck. <laughs> By the way, did you know, there's a match that happened between Nick Gage and Scott Steiner. Tell me you don't want to see that just based on the names I just said. <laughs> He threw him up a ring and he was like, get the fuck out my ring, big popper pump. Ouch, that was, a, that was a fucking chop. It's literally just been a murder. <laughs> it's been a murder. You know, you know what's really the tragedy in this match? It's the little orange tip in Jericho's hair. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Yeah, and it's at its best when you can't see it. You know Chris Jericho? He's one of those people who, where upon fans seeing that he might have been a bit under, underappreciated at points in his career, overcompensated and made him overrated. I like, can see that. He's a very, he's very good. He's good at reinventing himself. About recently, seeing how he's made that part of his gimmick, I think that's kind of fallen by the wayside. And but like pretending that everything he touches turns to gold, when in reality, only about fifty percent of what he does is gold. And like that's a very high success rate at the level he's at. Like you Go think on, of a thousand, do they? You think of some like most of like when you look back, most of Austin's storylines were shit. They just worked at the time. Yeah. Jericho actually just took stuff and made it work, which is really good. Which is like really good, but also like between 2013 and 2016. Did, can anyone recall anything great from Jericho? Same with like 03 to 06. And then from like he spends the last periods of downtime before he finds his group, which is fine, but people act like he never has, like, he's never had a bad moment in his career, and he's had several. Hmm. Like, remember when he tried to be a hacker for a while? I do. That was weird. That was my first exposure to Jericho. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm less forgiving towards him. Maybe that's why you are completely ambivalent towards him, yeah. I'm not ambivalent. Like, I think the thing is, I really liked him. I think it's his New Japan run that really soured me. Mm, it wasn't I think the best. It's, I think it's a New Japan run mixed with, like, just the discourse around him. Bam! 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 You know what's weird? Like, that's basically Razor Ramon's theme, but faster. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. Jim Johnson really did recycle a lot. <laughs> like, Do you prefer um, Jim Johnson or CFOs? For example, um, Cesaro's theme, um, first theme, is basically Dean Malenko's James Bond theme. Dean Malenko's James Bond theme was great. Down, down... No, what were you thinking about CFOs? Which one's better in your opinion, Jim Jim Johnston or CFOs? I think CFOs is more consistent, but Jim Johnson's better, more iconic. 
Because when, Je- when Jim Johnson phoned it in, he really phoned it in. There was, yeah, but then you look at, for example, Big Cass's uh, music when he first went um, went single, and they ma- oh, yeah, CFOs made him the that's, worst. That's one of few worst. misses from CFOs. There's been a few misses from CFOs, to be fair. Yeah, but like compared to like how like with anything like Owen's theme, um, Zane's theme, well. Was it Bobby Roode's theme, Nakamura's theme, even Austin Aries' theme? That's an underrated wrestling banger. It's a shame he's a cunt. Yes, it really is a shame he's a cunt. To be fair, like uh, Austin Aries is no longer the biggest cunt in wrestling. No, like, true. After the events of this summer, he's probably not even top one hundred. Well, no, that's true. To be fair, though, it's bad when all this has happened and he still cracks that top one hundred. Shows how much of a cunt he actually is. Doing anything recently? Let's have a look. Yeah, he's been signing tinfoil hats um, because he <laughs> believes that coronavirus is a uh, is a work. Does he? I haven't been keeping up with him. Does he actually believe that? Jesus. I believe so. If you Google Austin Aries tinfoil hats, I believe that is, uh, that is currently a thing. Let's have a look. Austin Aries urges fans to drop your mat. Oh, fuck off. Jesus. How are you so, like, clever as a wrestler but hateful. dumb as a person? He's like, hateful. To be fair, you know that for, for a fact that people like AJ Styles probably also think that just WWE stopped that from getting out. No, it's just that he, AJ, I imagine, has his own opinion and doesn't force it on every fucker else. To be fair, it's, I think part of that's because he's never really been in a position where, like, he's not had to worry about getting fired. Like, Aries no, right no, now has true. no one to answer to and no one will hire him. Because last, last, like, big Aries match is his one with Johnny Mundo. Mm. And after that, he threw a temper tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> match guide. Let's see if he's done anything of note since then. Um, apparently, he had two decent matches against Brian Pillman and Teddy Hart in MLW. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when your highlight of the past three years is Teddy Hart, you kind of have to question yourself, eh? Yeah, exactly. Career. Where's he? Ra- oh, he's wrestled in 2021 with Global Syndicate Wrestling. What's the name? <laughs> he went up against... Oh, he got beaten by Alexander Hammerstone. Gianna Perazzo was on that card. Good for her. That's weird. Deanna... He was in Lucha Underground? What the fuck? Oh, it was Impact versus Lucha Underground. I remember that show. Um, Deanna per- like th- th- Because I mentioned it a second ago, Deanna Peraza strikes me as someone I like more in theory than I do in actual practice. Hmm. Yeah, I get that. Like, I like the thought of like the wrestling virtuoso or whatever, but also she's not quite good enough to pull that off. No, not quite. Her match with Jordan Grace uh, wherever was decent. (laughs) 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 I thought you were going to throw up. Jesus. You know what? Like, you can always tell, like, this probably sounds off, but you can always tell when you're looking at something that was, like, just post 9 11 America. Because there's an American flag, like, there's an American flag put into, like, every piece of merch. Like, that American just bring it shit. Mm. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> like even Bruno T- Tamioli wouldn't give that a high mark. <laughs> Saban, Saban. I don't watch much Strictly. All I know is Seven, basically. And someone did a fucking Simpsons dance last year and it was fucking nightmarish (laughs) don't make real people dress up as the Simpsons because it's disgusting (laughs) what is Austin Tati? is that a rose? it looks that way doesn't it? slash heart yeah what a what a sensitive soul (laughs) Lionel 
remember when you could hit them properly. <laughs> I think what might be the problem with Jericho now, he try like he thinks he can do more than he can. Mm. Like definitely drop the line so because he they, he wasn't hitting them well in fucking New Japan. I kind of wish he just took the role as like the manager who takes bumps at this point, and then like wrestle twice a year maybe. Yeah. But in reality, he's probably gonna have a fucking year long feud with Christian. Christian. Christian, now you're on your own. Why did we keep that for when he was in a tag team? He he is by definition not on his own. But again, he'd be in a tag team with... God, he really is just like a serial tag team wrestler, isn't he? He just keeps... Yes. He gets his flying free teams. Actually, I forgot to say... I was going to say this about the real... Amer- not the un-Americans earlier, but I forgot to. Um, do, do you know the reason we broke up? Go on. Oh, we were so no, sca- I do know this. They, they, were so sca- they, were... they were scared of the heat they were getting. Apart like, from Regal, who was like... Apart from Regal, who was like, this is what we're here for. I bet you Regal was fucking pissed. Like, because I think I was right about the Jericho Austin chemistry thing. Nothing in this match has been what you'd refer to as clean. It's been all right. It's, it's a, been. It's a, if, this was a, if it was a house show match, I would, don't think anyone would buy high, an eyelid. No, it, it, it's, it's, it's a serviceable a... pre mania main event. Uh, it, there's been a fair few shortcuts taken. Like for brawling on the outside. Mm. See, every time I see that now, I'm just conditioned to think giant swing. Huh. Back to the driver! See, I understand like the stunner looks stu- like looks stupid if you think about it for two seconds. Mm. But it's a great finisher for finishing sequences. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like that, um, the archaeo, because it's basically the same. <laughs> um, Diamond cutter, same move. Yeah, Rainmaker is really good for finishing sequences. Yeah. <laughs> it now really explains why he wasn't throwing Rainmakers. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, what else is really good for finishing sequences? Can't think of it. Destino. Claymore. Claymore. Actually, Sweet basically, yeah, music. Running knee. Some of the running knees that um Jesus. Um, some of the running knees that um Brian has done is fucking incredible. Like that one on mm. Mustafa Ali. Oh, Mustafa Ali's so good. Ali's so, like retribution. Like oh retribution God. is just twice now. Jesus. I didn't, think, I didn't think he was going to get it. Um. With like retribution is so full of like great talent. You have like Mia Yim, um, who's apparently still there, <laughs> and who's the other guy? Um, Dijakovic. Like that's so much great talent, and you're wasting them <laughs> to make some weird point about millennials. <laughs> Do you think Rick? Fl- I think it speaks volumes about Walter, but when he chops someone, no one chops Wu because they're too scared. Yeah, true. Actually, no, you're not shouting Wu because you want to hear it. <laughs> Remember when he threw on fucking Adam Cole last year? Oh, God, yeah. He killed the bloke. Yeah. To be fair, some of the ones he threw on coffee were like fucking gunshots going off. See, you can always tell what era of Stone Cold it is just based on how many knee braces he's wearing. Yeah. Or whether or not he's wearing like the weird short shorts, which is a weird look for Stone it's, Cold. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Who likes short shorts? Steve likes short shorts. Oh, and a tool t-shirt. We really are t- in 2001. <laughs> which is weirdly the last time they released an album. <laughs> Was it actually? No, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm not a But again, it's weird because you'd look at me and expect me to have your music taste. Yeah, true. 
If I asked you to name me three Alice in Chains songs, for example. Um, what? Correct, good song. Um, I'm struggling, because what... I think Wood's the only one I really like. Uh, um, I'm trying to... Because I listened to one of their albums recently for no reason. Do you ever get, like, like, one of those compulsions? Yeah. Where, like, I'm going to listen to this album despite the fact there's no reason to <laughs> listen to this. It's one with Wood on it, because I remember, I remember seeing it. It's like, huh, I've never given Alice and Chains a chance. And then I listened to the rest of it. And I was like, I oh, no, I have. Dirt. I just didn't like the rest of it. Thanks on dirt. I can t- I can, I can do this. I can fucking do this. Um. Oh my god! Skull crushing finale <laughs> for from stroke. Jericho onto the belt. What do you think of Miz losing the title so fast? Um, I think it was glaringly obvious that was going to happen, but I am really, really happy for Bobby Lashley. See, I didn't think it was glaringly obvious, but I don't really watch the WWE product. So. Well, true. Yeah, but it was also rumoured that Lashley versus Drew was where they were going to go for Mania, so... Is what... No, is that... no, 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 that's not a... That's, that's not... the wrong person. <laughs> Silly Chris, that's not a your lariat. <laughs> Be good, Larry. The walls of Stone Cold. Oh, 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 oh! Them bones. That's a. That's not. That opened the album, didn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Alice in Chains. There was a word. There was a song called Dirt and Dirt. Okay, so I have named three. Fuck you, Rob. There you go. You have to Google it. No, name me three. No, name me three junior songs. What? That's basically all junior songs. <laughs> Here we go. The NWO What's... have interfered. See, it's weird, because after this, you'd assume this would set up Austin. Yeah, exactly. But we have just seen Hogan take a bump, which is unreal. Yeah, that's the first time in... To be Before, fair, in this, in this one, he actually did. He, in this sort of run, he actually did. Yeah, this is like the only Hogan run ever where he didn't have any creative control. Which is probably for the best. I think there's a reason people enjoy this era of Hogan, and that's because he's not booking himself. One, like, he even had the tag title two, on the bench. Three! I become, I become, I become, man. I become, I become, I become, man. Is Fozzy the best wrestler band? They're not, it's not exactly a fucking. It's like. That's not a high honour. No. It's kind of like saying um, you're the best Justin Bieber album. Like, there's only one good one. I mean... Um... Hulk Hogan's back. <laughs> Junior. Yeah, Junior had that one, re- that one good song they used for TakeOver, didn't they? I think the West Texas Rednecks were the best wrestler band. <laughs> that's, that's not a reference I was ready for. <laughs> How small Is does that Hulk the... Hogan look? I know, he's been off for... He's clearly... <laughs> a, a skull just hit him with the stunner. That was a re- that's one of the worst stunner I have ever seen in my fucking life. You know what I love? If you search West, West Texas Rednecks on Google, they actually come up as a band. Amazing. <laughs> active from 1999, active till 1999, genre country music, members, we've only lifted Kurt Henning. That was an active attempt to like bury Kurt Henning and it got him over, didn't it? It did. And then they buried that for reasons that are completely beyond me because they didn't have anything else over. New World Order. That's a really bad NWO there. They're clearly out of practice with the Fritz Bay Frank. Chris, let's pause that there. Um, Uh, I've I've lost my mouse. (laughs) Overall, what do you think of that? 
Eh. <laughs> I think that's about. I think that's about what I feel about the, it. There's, I've instantly forgotten almost every <laughs> single match on that card. Well, Rob, which I ha- goes to I, show. Um, I got the. <laughs> I got ended up getting the show up when we found out what the main event was, so I could see what people think of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, I've. <laughs> I went on 2001 and not 2002, so this is gonna wait. You're gonna have to wait for a sec while I change the number. Um, anyway, so there's missing information that doesn't allow the gauntlet match to be rated, so we don't know. But this got five out of ten on cage match. Um, mm-hmm. one person has rated Goldust versus RVD, and we gave it a six. Um, right. One person has rated Booker T and Tess versus Spike Dudley and Taz. They gave it a six. Um, one person has rated Edge versus Regal. They gave it a five, which I think is unfair because it's, that's probably the best match from the show. Um, Rock versus Undertaker is not recommended and went 18 minutes. It felt every second. Um, Angle versus Triple H has an average rating. More than one person rated this one of six point five, with Miss um, Old Friend Dave rating it f- three and a quarter. Fun fact: he also gave that to Momo versus Nene. And then the main event, one person rated it, <laughs> and they gave it a five. I do have a complete list here of Meltzer ratings. If you're ready, oh, so the ooh, ooh. we should do over under. Oh, actually, you can't do that. Exactly. Um, so, the tag team turmoil match, obviously, he rated each match, so I'm not going to go through those. So, Rob Van Dam versus Goldust, he gave a star and a half. Hmm. Um, that's, a, that, that's harsh. The tag title match, he gave one star. That's also harsh. Edge versus Regal, two and a quarter. That's also harsh. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he, he was not in a good mood that day. Take a rock, two and a quarter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Trips and Kurt, three, three and, a quarter, and a quarter. And then the main event, three. He gave up three? Mm. I think it wasn't he was... a great show, let's be perfectly honest, was it? No, it kind of puts TLC 20, 2013 in perspective. It really does. It really does. <laughs> um, you were it stunk for every the day second. Of, uh, you were pining for the day the Kofi Kingston versus the Miss. It it stunk every second of pre mania pay per view, didn't it? This show, yeah, it's like we need to sell pay per views, but we don't want to upset the status quo. Exactly, exactly. No belts changed hands. Um, we got angles with the NWO and Stone Cold, but it was the wrong member of the NWO that ended up facing Stone Cold. But never mind. The, um, the NWO segments were baffling. Yeah, the the entire. The entire thing fell flat, especially as they were introduced as this, you know, lethal dose of dose of poison. This thing that was supposed to be, you know, this cancer in the WWF, and then they came out and cut what was effectively a shite promo before then interrupting the main event after Stone Cold turned down their beers. It's flimsy reasoning, um, yeah. but there we are. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, Chris, let's wrap up the podcast here. Um, Thank you so much for listening, guys. We really do appreciate it. Please go subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts, whether that's Apple or Google Play or Spotify or Stitcher or Podbean, wherever you get your podcasts. Leave us a five-star review and a comment. It helps us massively in the rankings. Go and check out the website, www.podmania.com co.uk you can also check out the facebook group podmania podcast check out the merch store which is in the podcast description and on our website as well um you can check the podcast out on twitter at at podmania you can check me out at at real rob goodwin chris where can they find you at the garthberg you're an idiot (laughs) and we'll see you guys again soon You've been listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Podmania, Facebook at Podmania Podcasts, and YouTube and Instagram at RealPodmania. And check out the website, podmania.co.uk. Until next time, wrestling fans. Podmania.